welcome to the stream guys I would have been playing last night and it might be a surprise to y'all that <coughs> we're gonna be playing Metal Gear Solid 2 today and God of War high stakes it's still on the menu but I'm gonna be playing through that in a second give me one second guys I'm just trying to make sure everything's set up setting the stream up I'm getting ready to go through the playthrough this is gonna be more kind of just a casual playthrough just a casual playthrough more story based elements I believe Metal Gear Solid 2 is a great story and I want to be able to play through it let us see if it works okay so we're gonna go new game we're gonna go tanker plant today. We're gonna do hard. We're not gonna go on extreme. Sorry guys, you know that extreme's a little bit uh not right now. I'm doing my big boss run on it so far. We um aren't gonna go with radar. Not game over if discovered. That way if they see you, it doesn't end the whole game. But we're gonna be focusing more on the story and the codec calls and things like that, flesh out a lot of it uh, as River, we go through. Two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. It's like a movie. And I wanted to put this on my channel. It's themed off of Metal Gear. Sorry for you guys that don't like to watch movies and shit, but it's like a movie. We are not killing anybody. We are not getting caught. <clears throat> we're not using rations. And uh, we're not going to be able to do the timing. Three hours is a little rough. Especially if we're going to watch a lot of this stuff. It'll kind of give us a good scope of how long this game is with the movies. Well, I mean with all the cutscenes and stuff. It's so badass this scene. This part's cool. <laughs> Look at it, it does his little backflip. And that's how you do it, boys and girls. That's how you do it. I don't know if the cool pose is part of the whole plan there. I definitely wouldn't fuck with him. He's got the meme face right here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. He's a very tall sketch. He's all playing with his gun. He'll Just to let you guys know who he is.
Hideo Kojima. I love Hideo Kojima, but like I more recognized David Hayter as a kid because of the voice acting. I wasn't looking about how this whole game was directed. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at <laughs> the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Right on it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. <laughs> that thing's not so bad. That reminds I'll me, I have to get daughters. in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. One day Someone you're gonna get caught. Sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now. You can't be killing. Metal Gear organization <laughs> and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. Still cringe, Otacon. <laughs> All right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. That's why it's called M9. M9. It's a good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's mm -hmm. kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? We've already been through this, Otacon. Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. Don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't <laughs> get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure. And if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please. I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. The <laughs> target. Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo. He's the snake, man. The deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. What? 
They're about to get got up on. Ooh, ooh. You sure? They got Maybe got up on so fast. <laughs> That's Let's that picture that I always find on the I'm fucking on camera. Here's the meme. Oh man. He's ready to infiltrate. Like the theirs now. K60 Kasatka. Kasatka? Kamov chopper, right? Killer whale. The stock footage? We need to get a uh, fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA62, the civil model. Look, Snake. All we need is the photographic can we see evidence eye to eye, guys? Here. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? Yeah. All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Right Reach me it. if anything happens. The frequency is right 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want mm -hmm. to see. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. All right, let's go, guys. So there's a lot of stuff up here. There's a lot of entities that you can encounter. Just go. Oh. Oh. That guy usually kind of sees you sometimes. You could wait. And we were seen, that doesn't count as an alert. So you wait right here a little bit, and this guy should walk ahead if he's here. But he's not here. That's on extreme mode, there's a guy there. This guy can see your footsteps if you mess up. Let's put him asleep. What I like to do is grab the M9 stuff, which is in here. This locker. Give this guy a little bit of your tea bags, and let's go. I love the music to this game. So we got these two guys. You can peek cover and shoot them, but I like to just kind of like bolt out really fast, get a better angle. He should go down in a second. Now if we want to move that guy. Should go inspect that. Oh, what is that? Nothing, punk. A. Try and refrain from using profanities, I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. This part's funny. I'll show you guys a funny option too. So you can hold them up. Don't kill me. I don't know if it's ideal to do it here. Oh shit. Oh, there you go. Now, if you unequip this, go right here, go really low. You can punch him in the crotch, but you gotta be way close to them. Is he knocked? Nope. He's knocked now. But it will basically incapacitate him so that if you don't have any tranks, it works. You don't have to beat him down that way 
Watch, I'll show you it more cleanly in the next one. This guy on Big Boss, I'd usually just run through it. But since we don't have a radar, we have to look at it. So right when it turns that way, we want to get under it and start moving. And pop out. It's kind of tedious. It's a part that's a little rough. I don't usually collect those, but might as well. This spot, you got to act fast. Run over here, run over here, skip that, and hold this guy. Freeze. Now, I'll show you how to do that crotch punch. Hold him, first person, look, and... Oh, damn, maybe they can't get it. <laughs> maybe you can't get it that way. They usually get knocked out in one hit. Oh, let's suppress this guy. So you don't have to worry about his ass. Collect this ammo. I'm an ammo hoarder, man. You gotta, you gotta be. Get over that guy. This camera can be a little fishy, but if you stick to this wall, you'll get through it regardless. You just do not walk forward. This shit used to freak me out as a kid. Now for Olga, I'm gonna try and loop her. Which I saw it a strategy on YouTube, but it's it's kind of finicky. I don't know if I could play it outright. If I can't loop her, I'm just gonna fight her regularly. We're gonna try and go through with as minimal saves as we can. But I will do continues if I if I die or get caught or something goes wrong. I almost just skipped this out of instinct. Looking at it, 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. Yeah. It's basically combat. <laughs> that area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range too. It must be a standalone no Marine Corps project, which means no this way. prototype Metal Gear must be designed yeah. for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the hole to locate the actual metal. The actual metal. His fucking face looks funny, man. It just does. Hmm? Alright. He doesn't have to go on the codec for that, so. Thankfully. Just watch my movements, it's gonna be hard to explain, but you run, grab the ammo, and then go to behind this box, and you should be able to shoot her feet. We don't have to worry about the rest of this bullshit. Control room, communications and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen. Once Noise. we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot. He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with a unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? No. You will 
That's that annoying ass shit that gets in the way of the Harrier all the time. Hands over your head. Now Shh, this scene's cool. Toss your gun overboard. Slowly. A woman. Show your face. You men, you're all the same. Who are you? Vanessa Marshall. We are nomads. Wanderers. I said to move. Americans. So you shoot women too. I'm a nomad <laughs> too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. Not there. Toss it over. Hold that position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. Since this gun is converted, some people don't think... No, it's not lethal, I don't not think. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. Oh! Nobody's ever dodged that. The music in this is cool too. And that brings our door to its conclusion. Scout knife with a surprise. You a Spetsnaz? I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no hmm. one gets lucky twice either. Dun, dun, dun. Grab that and then go right here. She'll have that little shit right there. And then you have to tag her. And then what she'll do is she'll do that and then you can also crouch it in if this goes right and she should pop up right here with grenades and you should be able to just tag her out or she'll throw grenades like that so we're gonna go wow the OG way hit that I don't have radar so she knows I'm like right here Before she starts employing all this other crazy stuff, I'm gonna tag this out. Wait for her to peek back, and then you can get ahead. She can't. Sh Whoa, she can. She can. <laughs> she knows I'm right here, so she takes cover for a second. Oof. Still thinks I'm there. <laughs> Missed. Got her there. Move that. She's gonna tag me. Oh no, she didn't. Almost tagged me. But basically, you can get her stuck in between those barrels right there. Fuck her up pretty easy. I used to have so much trouble with that fight. I still do on extreme. I don't know they expect you to beat it decently on extreme without corner trapping her like that. You gotta be a really master of fucking aiming with the SOCOM or the M9. Hmm. Caught you in 4K, bitch. Oh, there's the profanity. <laughs> Cypher.
The ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not gonna be as simple as we thought. You could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't gonna be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E. E. Fucking E.E. E. Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. E. Emma? Emmerich? Yeah. It just caught my eye, you know? I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't e. get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marine's M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise too much racket with that thing. I hear you. I think it's great how he just gets the M9 and he's just like, yep, yeah, I have it. I can take them on now. All of them, bro? Okay, so go right here, grab your little dog tag that you get for free. Then let's move on. Over here, I'm just gonna hit this guy real quick. Just bag him, boom, tag him. There's a box over there if you want to get the trophy, but I'm not going for that kind of shit right now. Grab the Sogom. I mean, the USB bullets. This part's pretty simple. Let's go right here. Tag him, go through. There might be another guy over here, I don't know, but you just run through. He'll see you. He'll try and call, but your shit goes before it. Go right here. Wait for him to stop. Tag him out. Grab the USB. I like to do this, you don't have to. Security, guys, security. Let me go down here. Oh, I didn't even run fully. We're gonna meet our friend again. But this time we're not really going to harass him that much. We're just going to run through him and trip his ass. Oh, bye, bro. This room, you got those two people running around. Oh, don't want to use that. You'll kill him. Put him to sleep. Draw him over. Maybe he'll look over here. He might see me. There's somebody there. Just tag him twice in the arm, take over, wait for him to... Huh. Usually I poke him in the head, but going a little safer. Let's drop. Welcome to the stream, by the way, whoever's jumped on. Grab the stun grenades. Stun grenades are... They're phenomenal. You need them. This guy, we got to play careful. He'll only be here if you haven't gotten caught. So we're going to put him right here. Freeze. Huh? Put him in the sleeve. Go right here. We're going to look right here. We'll see this guy way over here. It's good that you put him to sleep earlier. It's his bedtime, you know. This guy, you can come out right here and you can tag him. This guy, if you go like this. Let me see. Just keep tripping him. 
You don't want to do what I just did because <laughs> the people are going to be coming with the alert here. But I got a perfect thing to do. We got to move fast. You got to move fast because the, that team is coming. Situation is normal to them up there. Oh, 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 oh. no, nope. full alert, full alert. We'll get through this. Probably on a game over. <laughs> I'm fucking stuck on this one. <laughs> nah, I'll show you where I fucked up. Catch me if you can, bitches. Oh my god, it's my time of the month, man. They might follow my fucking blood. Oh! Oh! I play Big Boss mostly, so usually it's game over by the time they try and catch me. Oh. Don't tell me, the dude, I was bleeding the whole time. Oh man, this is fucking scary. This is what makes Snake beat off. He beats off in this locker, he gets horny from getting caught, bro. A tight one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh. The guy that they almost killed in the hallways, uh, not that important, I guess. He saw me on that, Gandalf. I dropped the ball because I was getting cocky. I dropped the goddamn ball. Alright. Let's hit this. Oh my god, he's fucking right here. <laughs> I didn't even know they're right. That guy is not asleep. Dude, no. This can't happen twice. Nah, bro. <laughs> I'm a fucking. I'm gonna rerun this whole part right here, man. Snake, are you okay? Snake! Snake! Cause one mess up will throw you into that whole thing. Oh my god, I'm over here still. This is the guy that sees me with the um He's the one that's a problem. Gotta let him do his little call first. The entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. Freeze. Huh? Yeah, freeze, bro. Now he won't hear the bullets, bro. Oh, I caught him right in the middle of his transmission. So it's gonna be a sweaty one. There you go. Dude, Otacon, don't be calling me right now. The hell's your problem, bro? I don't wanna blow another alert. There you go. Holy shit. That's not supposed to be as complex. Where I messed up is I dropped and then got caught by that original guy. I should have reset the whole room. But I thought I was fast enough. This guy you could just shoot as you get closer. He might see you if you're not good enough, but you can get him. Don't forget to teabag him for all the shit that he did to us. <laughs> All right. Freeze. You don't have to do this guy, do this to him, but I do anyways. This guy might see you. Nope. No, I'm not gonna kill him. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm not gonna kill him. I might die. Gosh, man. How did he die? How did the other guy Snake. die? Respond. Snake. Snake. Nah, I can't be failing like this. That's horrible. Marizano Bridge checked. That's ass. Right past. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in ten minutes' time for the scheduled briefing session with the commandant. <laughs> yeah, that's ass. That time. It's like I'm taking it slow, not like 
how I usually take it, so this guy's not asleep when he should be asleep. Like this guy, you're not supposed to drink him. He'll walk by and you can just fucking go like that. Which makes it so this guy's not knotted down. Still got caught. There we go. You need these bullets. Dude, he's getting his life back like a fucking reptile or some shit. We don't need USP. Yeah. I'm much better at the plant with riding anyways. I rushed the shit out of this mission on the solid snake. This part's pretty cool. What's up, Makalo Wizikas? Uh, sorry, man. Welcome to the Metal Gear run. We already ate shit like seven times. <laughs> The main thing you gotta remember about this game is you have to be fucking patient. Patient. Sir, the Marine Commander has started his speech already. All communications to the halls have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. And really, do the VR training, dude. The VR training will get you there. With our lives, if necessary. Yes, sir. My daughter. <laughs> God, Gandalf. Yes, sir. Yeah. First try, everything. You'll see after I get to the riding section, there's a spot where it really tests your abilities, dude. Just in the beginning, it tests. It's like the hardest part of the game, right in the beginning. Bro, how do you see me? I didn't even know. What the hell? First try my ass. No, I'm just kidding. So I like to get closer. And kind of like teabag the floor. Whoa. Keep yourself healing when you're like at this bleeding stage. You have to. You can only take one shot before you can pop back in. He's gonna fucking try and get me. When they throw grenades, you gotta run. Just run. You're facing the real fucking solid snake, motherfucker. Oh! Is he throwing a grenade? Oh yeah, he is. You spammer. I don't know if it's on me or not. Oh man. Oh, this guy's gonna get... Oh. I-frames, I-frames for the win. Throw him, throw him. Oh, oh, oh. I'm in a compromised location. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Heal, snake, heal, snake. Dude, he didn't get him. Oh, oh my god. They started coming over there, man, and I started getting juggled up. You're not supposed to let that one guy. That one guy cannot cross. If he crosses, it's over, man. I'm not using rations. I don't use rations. It's gonna be a tough one, but... At least they allow the HP to regen. You 
got the grenade guy. Focus on the grenade guy, too. That's where you want to be getting. Damn, dude. My fucking thing didn't go off fast enough. Snake, what's wrong? If I didn't get injured midway through, it's gonna be like 20 game overs, dude. fire this shit. That guy's gonna run across right now. Go. You're not getting me this time. I gotta heal up. <laughs> Throw another grenade, dude. I like do better when I'm not focusing like on the stream stuff, man, but... Teabag him, teabag him, teabag him for what he did to us. <laughs> I also believe a lot of people don't like to like watch people just go through all the time on the stream. I'm not super famous about it, but right? I'm not the best. But I like a challenge. That's why I could have used a ration to just get through it, you know, but I'd rather accept six game overs. <laughs> Thanks, Gandalf. I appreciate it. Who goes there? It's like the ultimate team kill is what this guy does. Oh, Shalashaska. Why are you here? We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? Colonel is going to be there too, bro. Cuddling up right next to you. Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, the next part's pretty interesting. Right off the fringe. I'll show you guys two ways to get through. The men down here are definitely Marines. If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. <laughs> Not the beach. Okay, Snake. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. Hmm. All right. There's actually one little thing. 
Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. I died seven like times monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. Sorry if it's a little boring. I made this shit just to just like catalog all of them. Codec? Put it in a journal kind of shit. Make a video. Exactly. It's a whole movie there. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where I appreciate everybody happens. watching. Whoever's watching. I've made arrangements. Candel for sure, bro. You got me on a on the good hype. Arrangements. I hitched a ride on Forgive me for my the gaming sins. Proprietary network. Managed to get into that workstation and overrode a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? <laughs> well, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. Like this? Oh shit, my bad. At the moment, all right, so we're gonna heal up. This spot right here, normally, see where my life is? I died like six, seven times. I wouldn't take this route normally on my run, but it's kind of risky. You have to drop and press triangle ten times. But sometimes the game glitches or the timing, my timing's fucked, and I fall to the floor. And after beating Olga perfectly and beating that ambush perfectly on extreme and getting to this part and risking it, the only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. I just recently decided to get back. But we're going to try to do this ten times right here. I appreciate the, the support you have. I try to entertain. My favorite game. This, weapon will this is my favorite. I don't know how many we got here, but we need ten. And if you miss one like that, you're dead. <laughs> Snake. 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 This is not where I do it too. It's like in that area where I got caught originally. Is where I do the ten. But regardless, you're gonna need enough life because your grip gauge goes down too much. So we can't use that option. So this is my secondary option if you don't use the top ropes up there. Go right here. Crawl under. Get up here. I kind of just look to see if there's... Oh, that guy might be a problem. Not. That guy might be a problem. Not. The hundreds, if not thousands, of metal gears that exist all over. Okay. This weapon will This spot other people would go around here or hold up everybody there, but it's kind of risky. I don't like dealing with everybody looking around. So I go in here. You don't have to risk doing ten fucking pull-up grips, which are kind of difficult. You have to tap triangle with the exact point that he grabs. If you don't, you're dead. But I want to base a whole run off of that, you know? Ah. Watch out here. Ah, Wait for the shadow to disappear. <laughs> Boom. Shadow gone. You can get through. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air See, I wouldn't even approach the pull-ups on this one, but I just wanted to show you. If you get the, all the pull-ups, you can pretty much shimmy across the whole top. This takes a little bit longer, but it's safer. I think you could even do this trick inside of the grid. And just move faster. You're all familiar with the shadow. The seeker cutscene, by the way. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. They did remove Snake's cake, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> they still got Metal Gear Solid 4 for that, though. His chameleon snake cake. Metal Gear.
Metal Gear. Okay. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail right. our own raid project. But I promise you that they will not succeed. Yeah, I'm currently working on a big boss run. It's on my channel. I got the first part of it. But I haven't worked on the second part just yet. Alright. Oh, shit. You don't want to alert him. You just want to climb this ladder. And you want to wait for their little training exercise to be over. So I'm going to wait till they finish. They're over there doing their shit. It's really unpredictable. There's a guy walking back and forth down there. It's not the best part of the game. It is my greatest wish never to so have or her children experience the horror Tag that guy right there. Life. Run through him. Oh, wait. I, want to leave I always forget this. Do not forget this. This is like serious business right here. As a soldier, I know. Go right here. Take that. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. You can get Unlike caught there the sometimes. Direct, depending on the time. Underwater. Move in undetected and, make and then you want to take one. I don't think you have to take one from this angle, but I do anyways. Then you come over here. It's on board joint tactical information distribution. Take system. this picture. Identifies targets with unerring accuracy and takes them out with massive firepower. It is the ultimate weapon. It is yours to you gotta take that. You know, that's for other purposes. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Ray. I can't believe they don't see this guy just Mantle. fucking running around. <laughs> Our has a ah, the guy in the background with the bandana is just, you know, our photographer. He just needed to dress thematic to be in the background. <laughs> There's Easter eggs in here if you look inside of it. Psychonauts names from previous Kojima games and stuff. Zone of the Enders references and Gypsy Police Knots. <laughs> Dude, that was me when I was a kid. I get caught by all the Marines over and over again, bro. I'd be dying everywhere. Believe it or not, there's hidden dog tags within those marines you have to go get. You have to so, hold them up. Any codec moments from you, Snake? Since you played this just last week, is... watch this. He's going to say something great. funny about the, the marine, the commandant. Really well. The next ones. Okay, that's good. The Look at the shadow on the roof. That's the pretty cool. The next ones. Okay, this works. It's a great front view. Oh snap! Oh and snap! The next one is juicy. You watch. Hey, this is the Marine Commandant. Are you a fan or something? <laughs> if you send him more and more of them, he gets all creeped out. The next I just didn't have the room for another picture. You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely. But I'll let you find shot. that the next playthrough that you do. Just okay, take a bunch of pictures of the, the Commandant. Photos. Snake, the speech is about to wind up. Forget the photos and get out of there now. Sorry about the break between gameplay, but it's going to be a lot. Yeah, I'm a super fan. We're super fans of this audit fucking Marine. That is all. Dismissed. So if you got to the point with Fortune and the Railgun, the, the chick that can't be shot, that's her father. I didn't know that when I was a kid. You're like the only people of color in this game, it seems. And um, some other... Side characters, not a, trying to be racist or nothing, but he's actually in a homosexual relationship with uh, Vamp, speech, my friend. LGBTQ Over. thing. Gift of the silver tongue, <laughs> the mark of a good officer, end of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. Hey, yo, what? The I fucking facts? 
Also called Revolver Ocelot. That's why Vamp and Fortune are so pissed off at Snake. Because Snake is supposedly responsible for killing the Marine Commandant here in this big explosion he was framed for. I didn't know that as a kid. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no. I'm taking it back. Yeah. <laughs> the Patriot AI try to cover it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They do this guy so bad. The Russian guy. Gerlukovich. He's all loyal to his fucking country and shit. Nobody move. Understood. With the headset, the music on this scene puts the tone to it, dude. No wonder. He just took over with all the Marines, man. They're all scared. This ship now carries enough Semtex on its key structural points. Semtex is like story plot shit, bro. It's in every game. It starts becoming a big problem. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. But everybody will. I wish they still made games like this, man. We're almost at the target. But mostly yeah, you're just shooting all kinds of fucking people. You're a super soldier ass motherfucker. Just no stealth, you know. No espionage. What do you intend to do with Ray? Sell it on the streets? I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Not you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? What's cool is that Russia. this guy has connections to Big Boss. Big Boss in number three previously fought against his troops. So he's kind of sour about it. And now Solid Snake, the son of Big Boss. I came to take it back. Hell yeah. That's because most stealth games, they don't do it right. They don't give you very many options to change up the field, man. Yes. On Metal Gear, you can knock on stuff and manipulate people. You can move fucking people. Most stealth games give you that option once or twice. You know, here, throw a rock, throw a can. The Last of Us does, but it's only that, you know? Metal Gear, you can hold people up, put them hostage, tranquilize them. Most games only give you the option to kill. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you <coughs> I'm glad you noticed, comrade. Every day, I fucking learn something different about how to control this game. Metal Gear only has room for one! I'll show you some quick tips once I get to the gameplay again. We'll die here. Damn you! This part's cool as hell. Yes, it's outlandish, it's like anime-esque, you wouldn't find shit like this in Call of Duty. But it's badass. <laughs> it's badass. Yeah. That was cool, man. <laughs> Sergey. 
Looks like you were long overdue for retirement. Hell yeah, and then all those camouflages that you get in number three, they have different abilities and effects for wearing them. Damn, dude. So if you played Metal Gear Solid 3, you should know about this guy. He's like in love with Big Boss, literally almost, bro. It's hard to say if it's not a like gay relationship either. He's Show's never over. fucking shown interest in women. If you wish to live, <laughs> I suggest you run now. Most of these men seem to be married this to the battlefield, and if the anything. New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim Doesn't matter race. about their sexuality, they're like these warriors, dude. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> when I was a kid, there was no internet to like watch YouTube, all that shit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He was disgusted both times. But, um, what was I saying? Fucking, when I seen this as a kid, I didn't have internet, so I didn't see the rest of the game, so I thought Snake died. And I swear to God, I was crying, bro. I was so sad. He was my hero going through elementary school. I thought it was the end for him. He has got cheeks right there. They didn't remove him in this cutscene. It's been a while, brother. Who are oh, you? shit. You know who I am. If you haven't played number four, it's revealed that this is fake. Not He's so pretending anymore, to be possessed. Snake? You're drowning in time. So he could fool the Patriots like, AI mother. system. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. I love the tension you see, Dad. Ouch! Get out of my mind, mind liquid! Hell yeah. They carry that on on number four as well. And as a gamer, that fucking really gives you that connection too. Physical prodigy. He is a the tough bastard in number one, too. Clone of the old man. Both of these guys are. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late 50s when they created his copies. Do you have time for stock footage? No. <laughs> I live on through this arm. There's a the stock footage. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I know what you mean. I actually have a family member that has a PS3 still, and occasionally I play that, but I can't stream it, unfortunately. I'd have to set up a camera for it. It's a cool one, though, but it's really a game for the fans. You might not enjoy it as much, and you also really, really enjoy this franchise, like, a lot, because it, it plays more like a movie than a game. There's a lot less gameplay than there is in this game, too. Surprising. But if you if you look into Hideo Kojima's want for these games, he wanted a game blended with the movie. And it's not supposed to be so happy and badass. Snake is so old, bro, it's sad. It's more at pulling your heartstrings than anything. As a fan, it was hard for me to play it. Still is. But it has some of the most badass you moments. What it takes after all. You're going down, Snake, with this tanker. Fuck. Bingo Knight is off the hook. No. I used to have a little 3D printed model of that. Yeah, don't shoot it, bro. Let me shoot a grenade at it.
<laughs> Snake is fucking drowning. Damn. What I think is crazy, Raiden fights like 20 of these things on extreme. Snake fights one Metal Gear Rex, but Raiden, his little protege, fucking blonde kid that did all the VR training. Raiden was actually made to be exactly opposite of Snake. Hair, aspects, he's not as masculine, he's more feminine looking. He was made for the fans to hate. Oh shit. Yeah, exactly, bro. I'm glad you know those details, man. That shit, when I learned that about Raiden, it made me appreciate his character more. I was like, damn, okay. He's not as freaking scared as, you know, or new as you think he is in this. Oh, there you go. Snake's down, man. This is the shit that made me cry. Cause then they put right in, and I'm like, "What? The snake dead?" evidence of snake on the scene the cipher was most useful i look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash i would say the marine corps plans are on indefinite hold yes of course mr president Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark. A symbol of environmental protection. Charlie Team's Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the Big Shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the Big Shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group, and they have the Big Shell under complete control.
demands. Thirty billion dollars. Thirty billion dollars? What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? Exactly. There was a brand new hole exactly. cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's uh -huh. not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof That's of the real. big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're That's changing real. your code name for all following communication. What's That's wrong real. with Snake? Mm -hmm. Just a precaution. You are now designated. Instantly changed to Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. That VR right there kind of is a fucking Easter egg to the previous okay, VR game. The VR missions, they're all Make 300. Sure nobody sees you. If you it assumes to, that you played that, which is kind of like a sequel to the number one. Is when you want to use the He's code played all of Solid Snake's fucking button. VR we missions, just you. like we did as a player. The codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates. Right, I don't know if we need to hear that shit. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines That's to create crazy. a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. Skull suit is also shown in number five, the fucking parasite suit. The hatch with a circular handle Looks very similar. To the elevator area. Locate yeah, the I know. First. <laughs> Moving on to it's so funny. Objectives. That's how I attached to him as a kid. I did not understand all that psychological shit. It played on me, but I did not understand it. Like... I did not hate him, though. I played most of my adolescent years of gaming on this game, so it was like the wild teenage Metal Gear game that I played, you know what I mean? Just going through the same stages, I felt more relatable to Raiden than I did Snake. Snake was like somebody I looked up towards like a hero. Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. Alright, he's just gonna talk about the shit that they have. And everything like that, so. This is the test of your skills to see if you could hit Big Boss. It's just in the beginning part of it. It's kind of like what I'd refer to as the G check. I don't remember how advanced it is on hard. Look, he saw the cheeks for one second, dog. He saw the cheeks. They did not clip that out. 
there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. You do an ass whooping that fast. Some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not a nerd. <laughs> node. Oh. Use the node Definitely to gain not. access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR. We don't even have that, so don't even think that's going to be a thing, Ryan. So, okay, so I'll explain this real fast. These people are going to wake up. There's only two of them, so it might not be that bad. But anyways, I'm... Yeah, dude, it would be cool. But a guy comes over here and he looks in this direction. Normally, you don't have the radar to see it. So what I'll do is go right here. And I can see him up the top left. Right here through that little corner. Once he gets over there, come over here. He will see you for a second and he'll start coming over here. So then what you do is you come over here and wait for the left sentry to get close. And you pop a knock, which moves him. So you got two people in control. Go over here, trip him, and go through there. We don't have any weapons, so it's going to be kind of tough. This guy right here is going to be tough too. But I'll show you what to do with him. You stand right here, choke him, and punch him right in the dick. That's exactly what you do. So, so I told you, this is the G check. This is really stimulating too, by the way. Right here. You have to have that stimulation before you do this. Why is he fucking creating a profile if he's like trying to be sneaky, man? Back when I was a kid, I used to fucking press exit game here. I don't know why they have back the title screen right here. Good work. All right, I'm just skipping through this kind of shit. Sorry, it's fucking Rose saying that she's. We'll listen to the other dialogue, but I'm in the mode to do this part. You gotta run right here. You gotta choke him. So you just spam square. Right. The enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. The music and everything just sets the mood. Until the it's arrives. like a spy movie, man. Stay out of sight. This is stealth done right. Crotch punch, crotch punch. See? Right there, he's dead. Now, see, watch. That guy's going to that corner. You have to wait for him to get in there. Come on, man. Oh, shit, never mind. Try and juggle them. <laughs> That's crazy. On extreme, it's easier, believe it or not. On this one, it's not as fucking hard. It's harder on hard. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader. Is solid snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Shit looks right. so badass but how he just pops up. Solid snake. But he's a kid, he man. Two years ago he's a kid and it gives you that tree blew it sky. High. That sense that you're like fresh at everything. Could he have survived? If you fuck up, it's just Not because you're chance. riding, you know? Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commander? Jokes on you, Colonel. I don't even team fucking ten use on struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on strut B. Not a chance. Strut B? 
The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a Yeah, they have all those different nationalities, man. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons no, Yugoslavia. connected end Boston. on end. Exactly. No. And you're on the roof no, Serbia. Shell one at the moment. That sucks, though. First, get to a node. Log into the network. All right. He's going to tell us to get to the node. This guy's going to call a lot, by the way. Just run right here. Right. Seal Team Ten is in. They talk about the cut and the fence right there. Boom. There's stuff in the locker there, but we're not gonna worry about it. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. He comes up this stairway. No. <laughs> Pretty easy. Colonel, I've located. We're not gonna need the notes because we do shit differently. We don't really even have to have contact with people. He's gonna say, "Yeah, there's a cipher. You don't have to worry about the cipher. Just cartwheel your ass off, man." Now the cipher will change its orientation by the time you get back to there. We're going this way so that we can get the um, the M9. We need this. Some other big boss guides will show you to not get this, but I like to have a weapon as soon as I can. At least something that can distract and put people to sleep. Now this thing has changed its orientation now. There's usually a guy right there, but on this difficulty there's not. So we're going to run and get this, the chafed grenade. I don't really think I'm going to need them like I need them on extreme, but we have them anyways. All right, this guy's going to, you can see his flashlight turn. So then he turns. <laughs> you got to get that M9, bro. I mean, I could do it without the M9, but... Watch, I'll try to show you kind of a cool one. This guy is going to be right there. You can trank him, or you can do this ninja shit that I'm about to do. Oh. Boom. I suppose I punch him in the crotch. But if you run out before you could throw the alert, nothing happens. You could choke him and punch him right in the crotch. Sometimes I do it too soon. This part is really reminiscent of Metal Gear Solid 1, the fucking Cyborg Ninja scene. Same exact thing if you watch how this plays out. Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. And then punched in the crotch like two times, rolled over. And it's funny how it's just like, yeah, there was no trace of riding. A few people got tossed around, that's about it. He got pee pee punched. I don't know if I should name it the crotch punch or the pee pee punch. I mean, there's spam shooting, bro. That's like me in Call of Duty, actually. So, bro, I got claymores everywhere.
God damn. JPGs, what the hell? That's what it looks like, bro. <laughs> Marines. Oh, man. So, yeah, Vamp actually is really homoerotic, man. And I didn't realize that as a kid, and my uncle would always talk about it. He's like, you play that game with those gay people all the time? I'm like, bro, I can't help the fact that he's Vamp. <laughs> it's crazy how Snake had to fight this guy, but he couldn't reveal who he is. Right here. Sucky, sucky. Fuck. Yeah, I've always wanted to play this what game with other people. You? But never had friends that liked it. <coughs> He's very important in number four as well. Oh, bro. <laughs> My uncle's... My uncle would just say that there's a bunch of gay shit riddled in this game and I shouldn't play it. Because you got Snake's booty cheeks, you got fucking Snake grabbing crotch on number four. Volgan and Rydalkovic. Lots of shit like that, but... It was never the main point of the game for me. You can see there's a lot of heterosexual stuff as well. There's fucking posters everywhere. It's doing that Disney diversity shit before even Disney did that. <laughs> this guy. Where is he? Uh-huh. Oh, shit. Damn. God damn. That's his VR training kicking in right here. Oh. He could smell that he is Big Boss. Strange smell. Same thing as Snake. You smell like Are you? <laughs> it has to be. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Queen. Are you all done? Skin the goat. Yes, but wait till I tell you what I found. Damn. Yeah. Doc, can you just use the walkway like everybody else? Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. <laughs> so sad. <He> just <laughs> Holy shit, he's got the same goddamn voice Are actor. You a Navy SEAL? No. How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Oh, he's got the little sea loach. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? <laughs> See the secret fourth. I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? This fucking shit. The stock footage. No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission, mission 60. 60. 
Weapons 80. Weapons 80. Advanced VR, huh? I did all but those too. <laughs> those exact way. ones. A virtual grunt of the digital the fam that's, the, that's like our obstacle course. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year, a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. That mission the was hard as hell. It isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. See, War is you fucking die like that. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nano. <laughs> That's funny and so. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. Ooh, the colonel's so mad. What's up? Take a look. Bro's carrying a fucking football. What the hell? A Navy captain. Ryden thinks it's actually a football. No. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood sucking freak? A vamp. That was vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is it? <laughs> One of the a dead cell. Hello, Paul. <laughs> a special forces unit created yeah. by ex-president oh, George man. Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit the would launch VR. unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even edge civilians. Yourself. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. <clears throat> they were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. I'm gonna swap my controller really quickly. Now, and you just saw one of them. Bam, Why would they go swaps. after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right. And he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. Uh -huh. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? That footage no, right there was supposed to be in the game, but they cut it because the PS2 ID couldn't handle ago. it after all this stuff they were doing with it. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. Alright, we get it. We get it, we get it, Pliskin. Be careful. We'll be super careful. Ah, oh, Rose. What you want? Jack, it's me. Everything okay, Rose? Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Jack, <coughs> do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. He doesn't give That's a shit. Okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough? And we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not? Just now? when it's enough time tomorrow so I can explode on you. Appropriate. No. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay. Weirdo. I'm gonna finish this thing. <laughs> what a weirdo. No what? You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, 
There's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary Get mercenary? Real. Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security hmm? clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. Definitely I'll contact not. you as soon as I find out something. I forgot that he tries to do research on Snake. Oh, another cutscene. This fucking this one's gonna go. It's a dud. She's sad because her Marine Commandant dad died. <laughs> it's the best fucking quotable line from this shit. A dud. See, I don't know if that device that she has can actually... I don't know if it can actually do that. So, essentially, she is kind of Lady Luck. I've had people comment and debate differently, and I've fucking talked about it before, but... Does that EMP Come, thing at put me out of my field? Misery. Can it actually disable grenades as well? This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Yeah, I agree with you on that there. Luck and the EMP. It is definitely a mixture of the two. But I saw a short that just tried to dispute the theory that it wasn't luck at all. Some fucking guy's just like, oh yeah. But I was trying to mention it, and I'm like, yo, there's a time where she was actually pretty fucking lucky. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? The music again, right here, is pretty cool. You get one of those guns in Metal Gear 4. Sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have. I'll a do it the next cutscene. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. Yeah, dude, he had like all this equipment and shit. He just what? He just Besides, couldn't do it, bro. Since the seals drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? <coughs> right. Yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But there's no <coughs> questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? <coughs> they could be in danger, yes. That's a few artifacts. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. 
If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s of the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. Mm. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives <sighs> pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead cell. Dead cell. I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire too. It's it's like it's He's all like freaked being in a up. nightmare you can't wake up from. <laughs> snap out of it. And you, Rose, I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Right. He's this all fucking real. scared. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Right. You're needed on Strut C. This part's pretty simple. On extreme, there'll be another camera that spawns over here later, like a drone. If you're good, you can snipe it out. <laughs> yeah, that's for real. It's a VR mantis. You know a lot about Stillman's story? Peter! <laughs> Peter Stillman! Dude, he's so sad, this fucking shit that happens to this dude. Finding his body used to freak me to F out when I was a kid. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. <coughs> I can't unhear that now, dude. Lecturer, Thanks. Skull Thanks a lot. Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, dude. Got wiped off the map thanks to me. Every Two fucking time his body startles me. I know it's there. Every fucking time. So you're the bomb disposal guy. It's so sad. It's, it's all fake and shit. Kid, he couldn't this is save the these people. Guy. So he liked to fake his leg injury. And you'll see his name. He's like one of those kids in middle Just school that always wears now. a gas. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students, the Emperor of Explosives. Why? Why were you teaching he him an this? atomic bomb when he was only 10. I created him in a sense. And that's well, why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. It doesn't even sound that. like they were disarming shit. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Plisky. <laughs> honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Plisky, yeah. do you have any experience? That's the god I'm so angry. Spaces? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm a... Bro is balding at age 10. <laughs> Ryan. That's great. That's an odd name. Not in a good and way, either. He wasn't, there was he wasn't made for it. An engineer? How? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he, he killed? Did. I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. 
I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with it. Hmm. We'll they don't tell Raiden later. shit about right anything. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yup, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. He's all scared again. Off to confer with the CO again. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, just... you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. Colonel, it's please, right. no. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEAL decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. No, he ain't. Rose? You but they do have VR us. missions Trust if you want to qualify you yourself for that shit on Metal Gear Solid 2. But you're more than capable of handling C4. <laughs> if I can't have air, then nobody can. <laughs> that shit's funny. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? Uh, that man. There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. That's not yeah. for your broke asses. Y'all ain't even that smart. I can't give that to y'all. This is a C4 bomb. When I first played through this, I couldn't skip it, like on my big boss run, because I started a new file. So I was like, stop it's watching live. Peter. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker, and there we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check nice. the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. He fucking blinks, dude. It's what dude. they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The they fucking blink. We fucking words, blink, that dude. That little gadget Holy sniffs shit. out the C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor I'm fucking surprised the first person the mode doesn't blink What right if he's there? using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. No, he's small, I know man. how into his own aesthetics he is. <laughs> Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. Oh yeah. The you can move the camera. Picks up that particular scent spectrum. On those kind of cutscenes, you can is move around. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules. <laughs> it's so any kind of shit. Like a religion, and common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own. There is his father too. I found a son in him. He looks like me, dude. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. Not there to blow shit up. Things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Alrighty. Let's see how well that sensor works. Alright. I'm at Bro, the they're still Watch. doing this tutorial about the sensor. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. We're not That's even going to need area, that. Isn't I know where Don't these bombs complain. are. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't I'll show you a cool trick too. Radar to use the system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight too, because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted. Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here. More, more. Okay.
We know, we know there's bombs everywhere. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell too. Take this. The game's just like, you want another cutscene? What's this? Security card issued to Shell personnel. And for reals, it did. <laughs> we'll have to deal with the remaining security <laughs> lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. It's just showing us, you, you know, where the key's gonna no, go. I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But you'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Cha. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. Yeah, no I'll time for theatrics, here. dude. I may also need to prepare a backup plan just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semperfy. They're both bald asses. That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? <laughs> Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. British SAS. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. Uh, uh. I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area. I need to go in the closet. I can't handle this anime shit. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here too, so you don't need to worry about me. You come back, all the food's I'll gone. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. It's like, bro, it's only been thirty minutes. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, as he hides in the, the closet, comes. as he hides in the closet. Okay, bro. I get you. <laughs> the stress gave me the munchies. Hold up, hold up. I will knock the door, but there's supposed to be. Wow, I talked to my sister for one fucking second, and this guy. Jeez. My sister came in and said something to me. <laughs> but look, you could see Snake. Oh man, that's fucking funny. All right, let's go back over here. I had to reset the guards. But anyways, dude should be walking from wherever he was, and he walks across from here. Is he asleep? Oh no, he's not asleep. Now he can put him to sleep. I'll defuse the bomb, I'll come back and knock on the door. Give me one second. Because there's another guy. Damn, he's never seen me there before. I'm all slipping up so fucking hard. All of that? 
Doesn't count as an alert. Where the fuck is he? He's in the bathroom. <laughs> I've never played it like this before. It's not over here. I usually have both of those people knocked out. I can hear his footsteps. That's fucking funny. Everything's okay in here. Get to work on those bombs. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm rolling up the good shit. Oh my god, that didn't him. So, usually, I'd go take care of all those people, take care of the bombs, and then run through here. And this guy's knocked out. I'd follow Snake. But, as you can see, I messed up a little bit more. Boom. Take out that. This part is a little challenging. You have to take him out in this order. That guy will come turn around real fast, the third guy. Over here, you'll hear him make a, com a comment on his radio. After that, you gotta jump. Boom. And catch. I almost died. Catch him out. Get the bomb out here. <laughs> the music do not forget to pick up this if you're on a big boss spawn yeah it's a fun part Now on extreme, there'll be a bomb right here, and you gotta spray it. So I'm gonna pretend like it is here. And it goes chick, 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 boom, and then they ask you right here on the radio. It gives you just enough time for that. A lot of my messing up because I like I don't pause it. I'm not used to streaming. But you know this part pretty easy. There's gonna be a guy above. Go all the way up here. Tag him out. You don't have to worry about his friend. If you want to, you can, but you can uh, waste the fucking tranquilizer on him. This room is the most challenging, but watch as it is. It's all timing. All timing, man. Gotta wait for this guy to do his call. Come right here. He's gonna drop that. Put him to sleep. That guy's gonna come. I do that because the other guy's alerted. And he's going to try and wake him up. So he reset it. He should be asleep. He's asleep and the other guy's not alerted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this guy to come down here. Because there's a guy right here. On extreme, there'll be two people too, by the way. So we'll put him out. Put him out too. Now the best thing to do is extinguish, fucking, destroy all these cameras. You do not want to get caught. And also, we're running on the same timer right now. Because the, the bomb on the thing, you have to find it on the conveyor belt. I hate running around looking for that crap. It's freaking annoying. There's no more cameras, so we take this. Go right here. You want to grab these stun grenades for later. You want to be quick. Grab this guy that's laying on the floor, because he's going to become a problem later. So we want to bring him over here. By the time they wake that guy up, there's going to be a silver box on this conveyor belt to the left that has the fucking bomb. So I'm going to put him here, whip out the coolant, and you can hear it. Next silver box. Don't be scared, they might be fucking coming, but look. Boom. Now move with confidence and swiftness. And that is the parcel room. If any times you ever threatened, run in and out of the room. 
and it'll reset the whole fucking situation. You put everybody to sleep. Once they start noticing off on their codec, they'll come investigate the situation, but they come from the top left, and they'll wake those people up. The person that we moved, he's going to be still asleep by the time we're done with up here. And yeah. The fucking bomb, you probably blew up everything. Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an arsenal tank? A parser room used to challenge me like Don't crazy. Be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right, we'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, also, do not thing. forget to pick You'll up a box. Believe, you need at least I saw one a man box. Hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell Two. <sighs> so you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell Two connecting bridge. Over and out, then. All these claymores. Freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Drop not your gun. Chance. Bye. She did some Fortnite shit. I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's in a <laughs> dead cell? No. She commands a Russian it? private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Sorry, I was putting on my hoodie. Alright, so normally there's going to be two guys on this roof. There's going to be a guy on the left over here. He's probably moved around. There he is. So, we'll just neutralize him in a different way. Nope, nope. Didn't work. Dang, I'm going to get killed. Check it. Where's the other guy? He's somewhere. He's gonna be a threat. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Oh, there he is. I was putting my hoodie on. <laughs> and the timing of them went weird. But we still good. Right in here. The C4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Okay, it's done. There's gonna be people coming to investigate, so. I don't know if I can get through. Ha! <laughs> they just find me. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Yes, I do. No ho. I'm gonna get alert number six, bro. That's a lot. All right. Now I can show you exactly how I do it when it's on the right timing. Come over here. Pop this guy. And then you come over here. And this guy should pop through here. There you go. No quiet, messy situation. Really fucking quick. I did not want to wait for them to, like, clear off earlier. Hopefully that other guy's still asleep. We'll see. Alright, there's going to be a guy right here. 
But that's the guy we put to sleep, so we can just zoom right through here. He should be right here. I dragged him so he doesn't get woken up. On extreme, everybody gets woken up. All right, this part, we gotta go really quick. On extreme, throw a trap grenade, and then there's um. There's fucking mines everywhere. So you want to collect them. I don't think there's as many as I'm thinking there is. There's one right here. And one more. Maybe one more. There we go. Warehouse time. Shoot this box. He'll come to it. This guy's gonna make a call, I believe. Should let him make the call. Once he puts the radio down, boom. gonna double check so I don't okay I don't know if I need the Celcom suppressor but we'll see about it yeah the Celcom silencer comes in hand there's only one part where I use it though. There really is only one part. They're gonna start waking people up. I think they're just waking up that guy up at the top though. Sorry for the spamming sound. Nothing here. <laughs> I never used that path. I don't know why I did, but... Oh. The grenade on equipping is so you can move faster. While you're on the ground, if you click the grenade, you... You go faster. So watch. If I'm on the ground. And I crawl. See that? But if I... No, I didn't. She just talks about a bunch of romantic stuff. You really don't have to do that, what I did. You just come down here. I usually shoot him down while I'm here. But... I didn't know you could do it like that. Wait for the flashlight. Swap. Come over here. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Come on. No. I unequip my weapon too fast. <laughs> They're gonna come wake his ass up and everything. 
It's all sloppy as hell because I'm just going all fast and half cooked. I think it's funny though. It saves a bunch of precious ass crawling time. Should probably stay right here. That's normal, he's just fucking asleep. Look, you could be crawling and almost stand up by using the left and the right. Look, he's right there. <laughs> oh my god. In the same exact spot. Gotta be really careful here, re-entering. You don't really know where he is. Okay, so you have the option to go up, but you want to go this way. There's somebody there. Because you want to get prepared to collect that sensor that the black dude, Peter, leaves. I'm not worrying about ninja tactics on this, man. I'm just gonna run through. I got 26 fucking tranks anyways. All right, this guy, you gotta literally play by ear. You stand right here, skip this, but listen. You'll hear them walking. Now again, they're walking away. Put them to sleep. Grab as many bullets as you can, you know what I mean? Hit this. I'm just kind of skipping this. Oh man, he lied about his prosthetic. No, no, I skipped the wrong one. Never mind. I thought it was going to be a lot quicker. But grab this. Um, not as much. To get a, uh, to get big boss, you have to though. You get a big boss mode or emblem, you have to do non-lethal. But I find it a little easier to go non-lethal just because of the methods that I choose to dispatch these people. But do you hear that? That stupid ass fucking cipher. Hit the chaff grenade. Come over here and pop it right there. That way it doesn't become a problem later. Now there's going to be a guy coming down the dining room hall. Hopefully he doesn't stare me down, so I'm going to stay right here. Oh damn, he did. So that sensor is available. So we got that sensor, and then that cipher right here is dead, so you don't have to worry about coming back. These people are asleep, we already destroyed the cameras. Just exfiltrating, you know what I mean? These people might be awake, so... Yep, he's awake. This guy might see you, so go all the way to the left. Run right here. This guy's just walking and shit. You know, you just come up here. If you were to defuse the bomb here before the ones that I did, you'd have to do all of that anyways to go get that sensor. Right here, just come right here. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, right? 
You're way ahead of me, kid. I still have one to go. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4, and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? Thanks for watching, by the way, God. Oh. The strut is demolished. Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five struts left. But if Shell 1 loses a strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. It's the thing you acquired from the safe in Strut C a little while back. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. It's all yours, Ryden. I'm going to study it some more and see if the freezing process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. Okay. I'll stand by until you radio in. So when he says stand by until you radio in, you just fucking... <coughs> on hard? On easy? It's going to be around here? Or normal it's going to be around here? <coughs> on hard, it's going to be over here. <coughs> and on extreme, there's extra bombs. <coughs> the extra bombs, like I told you, that other one in the sediment pool area, when you crawl on the ground, there's an extra bomb there. <coughs> How's your invisible bomb? I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. How's Pliskin doing? A few more minutes. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. The detonator has been activated. The big bomb they have to worry about is the last the one. Sensors are live. On every difficulty, Jeez. it's different. This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! Pliskin! That was it! What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down! What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. I'm gonna teach right. you a couple tricks here soon after this. Too. Hurry! What's the remaining time? 300 seconds. 300 seconds? Right! Oh my god. I got fucking 300 seconds. Usually you'd start off in the dining room where you get the sensor, you know what I mean? But look how much time I have. Right. Listen. Listen carefully. What is it? This whole codec call about to be 300 no, seconds. What? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. He's gay too? Microwave. With the <laughs> It's not a technique I told him. Neither was like, when I did develop my Big Boss run, looks like he's far I did it the way that I felt comfortable playing as a teenager, and then I watched the people play it on Big Boss, but I formed my own route, and then I did all the tips. I found the tips, like the chaff grenade tips, and the chokehold crotch punch, something I developed myself in my own play. I know it's a lot of other people included and do their own, but if I fuck up, I usually punch them, grab them, crotch punch, you know? If you try and choke them, they usually swipe at you. They'll duck it and swipe at you. So I've developed my own little techniques here and there. You don't really use those in a big boss run because you won't fuck up like that. If you fuck up like that, you restart the whole game. Alright, so here's some fundamentals while we have some time. This next section, we're going to have to use this. My favorite box is Zone of the Enders, so you can grab this shit. Theta! Theta! And the reason we use the box is for some reason when you're running, he just keeps going in a straight line when you try and turn. So you can't really do straight turns with it. But if you equip the fucking box, you can. See? 
you see why that's useful in a second. So right here is where it's different, okay? On extreme, he hides the bomb right up here. You can see it on extreme mode. If you look at my previous video that I produced or whatever, my chasing big boss, it'll be up on there. But this one is different. We have to go bail over this rail real quick. Boom. Go over here and you double, you just tap X a shitload of times. About 60 times. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you come over here, don't walk too far. And then use your coolant and it's right there. I think on normal or something, it's on the other side of this. You just walk around the pool. Colonel, I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Raiden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. The bomb? Colonel, any damage report on the explosion? Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed. And the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the I hope you're enjoying the it. Stable Learning containment. some stuff. There's no immediate danger. Is the big shell stable? Shell 1 was unaffected. Yeah, when I was a kid, I didn't realize that they did so much in the difficulties, and I'd die at that section, bro, looking for the fucking bomb. Roger that. That used to be so stressful to me, bro. I wouldn't know how to get. I'd be like at 100 seconds looking for shit. All right. So if you're looking for the trophy, if you have rations, you can crawl right here and wait for them to get into your rations. But that's disgusting, so let's move on. Raiden, the terrorists have retaliated for our bomb neutralization. What? A hostage has been killed. Shot in the head. They shot one of them on the roof. Just Damn. to make sure we caught it. One of our satellites caught it clear. <laughs> Damn. They announced they would kill one every hour from now on. Hey, I mean, like, I watched all the informational videos. I'm just breaking down, like, the most useful the when they're implemented, when the I hostages? use them. <laughs> president Johnson is your first priority. Priority my butt. They're all in danger. Jack, be reasonable. My butt. I know what you're feeling, but... Okay. They're just talking about the president and everything like that. This boss is just complete avoidance. It can go wrong really easily, but if you mess up, just keep fucking going with it. I, you can see on my previous playthrough on that video I keep talking about, when I get to this point on the extreme, I get hit twice or whatever. I still run, and I survive with an inch. So right here, you just want to walk over here, equip your um, Zone of the Enders. That's what I use. And you wait for her shot. Every time she shoots, turn. Gonna have to bait her out. These barrels become a challenge too. If they hit the barrels, you gotta time it out. It's much faster on extreme. But it's easy like this. It's easy demonstration, it should be. I mean, you could just run around and play around like this, but on extreme, it doesn't give you time to do that shit. Alright, let's revert to this tactic. After all the objects are destroyed, it's gonna be... <clears throat> See? I'm trying to get the shots, but you can utilize the whole cover. I'm just trying to show you that you don't really need the cover if you can... In extreme, everything's pretty much blown the fuck up. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That's right. What makes Raiden cool to me, dude? He's so much more agile than Steve. He's a fucking ninja, dude. But usually it'll go like that. On extreme, she shoots twice every time. Pow pow, pow pow, pow pow, pow. It blows up everything.
dude, his swag. I'll take over, Queen. What is it? It seems our friend Fat Man is out of control. <laughs> destroy this place? Yes, the Fat Man was the only unpredictable thing in this whole planned. simulation. But why would he do such a thing? He knows, but he's nothing more than a stereotypical mad bomb. Oh man. He's completely lost sight of our ideals. And with it, his loyalty to command. When I was a kid, bro, I tried to shooting her so many I'll times. Take care of the wayward soul. It wasn't him. Unfortunate. I expected more of this one. Real. But he couldn't kill you, I see. When I play Metal Gear Solid 3, bro, I'm like so out of touch. Like, I cannot. I'm not as good as I am on this one. Later. I'm then. still alright, but like. I can't confidently control the situations. Ouch. <laughs> His face. That's the shot to start their feud. That's iconic. That happens often between them. On Metal Gear Solid 4, he shoots them again like that. Snake does. Those would be dead shots if they hit. Nah, gee, she's, she's just sleeping. No. no, that death was meant for me. Why am I the only one that can't die? Damn. Alone again? Cheated out of death again? <laughs> Alright, dude's dead. Let's get on with this mission, y'all. <clears throat> alright, Gandalf, this part's pretty alright, pretty easy. Do not forget, there's fucking... There's mines over here. Right when you start out, there's fucking mines. You really gotta do your little chave grenade trick. I get blown up by them. Boom. Alright. Jump down here. There's gonna be a guy right here. Wait for him to spin. Oh. Ouch. You could grab him, I tried to grab him, but didn't really hit it. As long as you keep running, you'll be alright. This guy, you don't really need to do that. You can just go down here. And you could cross him up at the top, but I put him to sleep. Ooh, Fat Man's about to be a doozy. Hopefully I can do it without dying. Warehouse, it's differently set up. Remember this one? I didn't think it's a guy all the way up here that climbs up there, but we already defused the bombs here. We don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> Parcel room. There's a guy right here. Should be. He will see you really quickly if you're not a, a, aware of it. Now you just wait for this guy to come by. Which he's awake and he's making his rounds. Alright, now for Fat Man. You want to have as much SOCOM ammo as you could have. And M9 ammo. Also, I'm going to teach you a trick too. So while you're running, you can hold square to hold this gun and you can hold X to run, right? But that's free aiming it. It will free aim the SOCOM. Now if you hold square and press RL1 instead, this will lock on to your opponent. I did not know that for the longest time. I've used it on and off when I was a kid, but to just actually recognize what it does. 
It'll whoop this guy's ass. You just gotta pay attention to Raiden's movements. <clears throat> so you're the one. This fat you're ass. Right on time, I see. I like a punctual man. Is he dead, Sal? I am Fat Man. I am the greatest that humanity has to offer. Can you hear it? Hear this rhythm? It's the rhythm of time. And life. Don't you tell me I used to hang around department store clock counter. Life is short. Bombs tell the time with every moment of their existence, and nothing else announces its own end with such a fanfare. Glad you could make it. The party's about to start. God damn, this is that kid on Demolition. It's on Call of Duty, bro. The one that gets all those setups every time. The ninja explosions, bro. Whew. Let's drink I'm fucking scared. Shall we? I'm fucking scared, If you destroy scared, the man. big shell, you'll never collect your ransom. Ransom? What are you talking about? A booty hole's puckered, bro. $30 billion dollars in cash. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's going on. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you'll know soon enough. And I could care less what they plan to do. My ambitions are much See how cool Raiden looks facing off with this motherfucker with his silk on? You're nuts. No one's I draw and I'm starting you. to work on tattoos. Oh, yes, These will. are the kind of tattoos I'm going to try and work. As the Art like this. Peter Stillman. That's the Fat man and fucking Ryan and versus each other. Like hell you beat Stillman. He had your number. What did you say? Ooh. Nothing of his courage. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Ooh. That cop yeah. died a dishonorable death six months ago. You don't know the whole ago, fucking the mission hinges cell. on this moment for Call everybody. Want. Only the right stuff Everything could be ever. over if Raiden was incapable. Set me free, you know. Open the way to a new dimension. He's so in Fortnite now. No. Detonation devotees. You're nothing but a common criminal, and that's the only way people will ever remember <laughs> you. you. I'm an Oosh. Where does he get those rings from? <laughs> that is why I dislike boorish military types. It's time to start the party. Let's go, brother. This is how it works. I plant a bomb, and it'll explode soon after that. If you prefer to stay in one piece, you let's go, to man. I played this game with Vulcan Raven. Laugh and grow fat. Let's move. That's hella cool. All right. First things first, Fat Man, okay? Not many people were explaining this in the fucking any kind of walkthroughs or whatever that I've seen, but you do not want to cater into this guy's game. You want to be on his shit, stopping him from fucking planting bombs the entire time. Right now, you have guaranteed, like, two bombs that you can get, so you want to belay that time as long as you can and score as many hits on this dude as you can. He likes to play his game, but you don't want to cater into it. We want to do as less, least amount of defusals as we can. Also, there's a few things to know. If you're lost when he's planted a bunch of bombs, sometimes he goes into the location and defends one of them. So usually I go look for one that I don't know where it is if he's defending one. Because I know he's already giving the location. Alright. Grab that. He's in the middle. Pop him with that technique I showed you. You can get two shots off on him right there. But see that technique? See how he's locking? Gotta have to find him. Oh. Now we got 12 seconds on the bomb. He's in our game now. He's in our game. Where is he? Five, four, three, two. Wait for the last second. That way he comes out. Get on his ass. Be up his ass. Make that homie look like a Hellraiser.
Oh, you're gonna go plant a bomb, son? I'm, uh, I don't have time for bombs, okay? Oh, maybe one, maybe one. Not even one. I don't deal with no fucking bombs, bro. I ain't playing with no games with your fat ass. My soul. I did VR training number 300. Oh, no. I've nothing to wear to the party. The party's over for you. <laughs> he just you whooped think? his ass. What do you mean? What did you just do? What is this? What is this? My beautiful hands. These delicate hands can craft works of art. He like pats his cheek. Answer <laughs> me, what the hell is this? It's the switch for the biggest bomb in the entire place. Oh my god. Huh? That's his vape, no, bro. <laughs> once, once There's no stopping the count. Where did you plant it? Where is it? Somewhere in this area. Don't worry, it's very close by. Where is it? Go ahead, shoot me. I'm already dead. Yeah, for real. Damn. He is a fucking pimp, though, think man. You can find it. When it goes off, it'll take the big shell. With I respect him the most out of all the fucking the dead cell because he problem. does his own, bro. This is the highlight of the party. How does he Bring look like on, a fucking zombie? Say, they'll be happy too. I die here and start my legend. Too bad you won't be around to see the movies. Laugh and grow fat. That's what I'm gonna base my channel off of. No, I have a Metal Gear Solid video. Five. Dedicated to Fat Man. <laughs> Peters. Why does he have Peters fucking on? Yeah, it's cool. Good work, right? Good work, right? Okay. Talk to Pliskin and everything like that. Fat Man is no more. This is the one where we talk with Olga and everything. Fat Man Gaming. Yeah, exactly. The hostages are being held in the B1 conference hall in the Shell One Core. I skipped a little bit of it so we can kind of like, like play it? through. Damn, it's dude, some issues. of his details are up in this. How am I supposed to look for someone without even a description? Use your ears. What's that supposed to mean? Ames has a pacemaker. You'll be able to hear the machine sound in the heartbeat. Do you expect me to walk up to these hostages and listen to every one of their heartbeats? The sound is too minute to detect an amplifier. You'd be captured immediately. So what am I supposed to do? Use the directional <laughs> Fat man game. There's one somewhere in the core. Take this. This security guard will unlock all level 2 security doors, including the one into the core. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electronic field. And watch yourself. The core is more heavily guarded than any other section of the big shell. You'll get nowhere just like that. Try this instead. Okay, she gives you a uniform. She tells us we need those retinal ID stuff. All that stuff. And we can you get saw. on. Okay, so Why you know the camouflage index from number three? They got, um... Come this uniform this BDU it gives you like 5% camo it's a hidden feature but wearing it the guards don't see you from a distance so it's actually better to actually to wear this thing while you're walking around here they'll see you for a second but the distance is increased oh I think we need to get the assault rifle that guy's still asleep over there. I don't know if there's a guy up on the tower, but there's usually ciphers here on extreme. Yeah, this guy. We don't have to put him out, but he could become a nuisance. There's a cipher coming. I can hear it. 
We don't worry about those right now. I do not know why. On extreme, there's also another guy that pops up right here. You've got what you need, right? And good job. This is the only place I need the fucking suppressor. I've done it without the camo before too. I think you go here. Unless this is the, yeah, the computer room. There's a secret too. There's a porno stash. It's right here. If you go right here and or I think You have to punch the lockers up a lot and it'll drop like a fuckload of magazines. I don't wanna risk getting caught over here. Don't want to run into him. Venus and Cancer? The porno stash or Venus and Cancer? Venus and Cancer is a game reference from fucking um, police knots, I believe. So right here, knock, dude should come around. Oh, yeah, one of the fucking gamers, one of the guards is a little pervy. You just grab this guy and maintain him. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick, but I'm gonna run the story sequence and then we can move on to the Harrier, bro, the plane. I'll show you how easy that shit is to destroy. those hostages in there is Ames. The only thing we know is that Ames wears a pacemaker. His heartbeat should sound different from other people's, so use the directional microphone to locate him. Once you recognize Ames by his heartbeat, keep the microphone pointed toward him, then push the action button and call out to him. If it really is Ames, he should respond in some way. What if it's the wrong person? The guards may get suspicious. Okay, so about the porno stash. Get too. There's Try something to that like we rest. refuse to recognize Don't in this series. With the that's fucking funny, man. Fairly sure that it's Ames. If you do make a mistake, switch the microphone for an AK and get out of there before a guard gets suspicious. If you're discovered in Okay, he's just telling us what to do. Anyways, the Bordeaux stash to me represents the ultimate form of fucking power in this damn game. I didn't fucking realize it, but look up on my other videos on Metal Gear Solid 5. You could use magazines and other distractions like that, and they're just the most overpowered shit. You don't think that it's overpowered because you don't use it as often, but literally it's like a non-lethal 
mind, basically. You put it down and his fucking people will get attracted to it and they will stay there stuck forever. If you tranquilize somebody, they wake up. If they're hypnotized by the stash, they're fucking dead ass on that shit, you know what I mean? I wait for that guy to turn around, but that's Ames right there. There we go. Your aims, aren't you? But you could manipulate motherfuckers with the porno in this game. That's some crazy situations on Metal Gear 5 that I had. You must be aims. Keep still and listen to me. I'm not a terrorist. I got in here using one of their uniforms. I'm taking off the tape. Stay quiet. Who told you about me? An informer calling himself Mr. X, dressed like a ninja. I see. Take this thing off me, will you? I'm Richard Ames. The Secret Service? No, I was sent in by the Lali Lule Lo, just like you. You what? You're here to find out where the president is. We have little time, so I'll be brief. How about switching to nanocommunications first? Nanocommunications? Right, silence beats talk when it comes to safety. Yeah. Are you the on? Right here. Do you really know where the president is? Almost certainly. He was moved to the first floor of Shell 2's core section. The first floor? The core of Shell 2? Is he still there? I don't know. I can't get a response. You don't think he's been like the other hostages? Hmm? A hostage was killed in retaliation after the SEAL 10 disaster, remember? What are you talking about? Regardless of what they do to other hostages, they won't touch the president. What makes you so sure? The case. You mean the nuclear button they took? Right. And the case won't do a thing by itself. That case may be the single most advanced example of a weapons failsafe system. The password is nothing less than the physiological data of the U.S. president. Physiological data? The president's own vital signs. Heartbeat, brainwave pattern, blood pressure, and so on are constantly monitored and relayed by his internal nanomachines. Damn, this information I got, got nanomachines the DNA too. pattern serve as a biometric password, unbreakable even by the latest parallel processor supercomputers. The password entry itself cannot be performed unless brainwave patterns and heartbeats fall within normal parameters. So basically, you just need the president to be in cool, calm, and cooperation to activate shit. Here comes Snake. That's him? Use the microphone to listen in. <laughs> Looks like a vampire. King. Fat man. It doesn't to come all the way to New York just to get hit with a bell attack. <laughs> oh. This one's worse than that one up in Alaska. What? It says... Come to think of it, that commander chick really reminds me of someone. <laughs> Who is she like again? Oh. Johnny, yeah. bro, it's She's Johnny. Like her. Now that's a time I'd like to forget. <laughs> I had to get jacked for everything that was on me. When I think about it, that's when everything started to hit the skids. It's a shame. Up to that point, I was steady cruising on the elite course. Oh, oh here we go again. Oh. Damn. Still, that Russian crew is a pretty decent bunch. He's fighting the demons. Escort guys get on my nerves, though. Oh, whatever. For now, just gotta hang in there. <laughs> oh, there's no paper. <laughs> there's no paper, bro. They're a band of lunatics to begin. I'll have his background rechecked just in case. 
You think he I was think that was more fulfilling, them? I guess. We can't discount the possibility, especially with that intruder still at large. Yes, the man in the sneaking suit. You know <sighs> more about those suits than I do. But Foxhound was disbanded four years ago. For real. So it must be the Patriots. What about the damage to Shell 2? The circulation system for the contaminated water has been damaged. The water being drawn in is overflowing, and the lower block of the central section is flooding. Seal the connecting pathway between Shells 1 and 2. The Simtex and IR sensors are already in place. Any effect on it? No. What about the President? The password entry has already been made to the Black Case. In one hour, we'll need a confirmation from him. His work is done after that. Make sure you keep him alive until then. Yes, I know. What about the unit's activation? Almost complete. The code has already been entered. All we need now is for the... to start the system. The usual method, I assume? No. The drugs took care of everything. Hmm. Only a few more steps to outer heaven. Dang, you're going to outer heaven. Oh, God. Who is that cyborg ninja, Shalashaska? I cannot even guess. What about <laughs> you? I'm having the matter looked into. Olga, don't cast suspicion where it isn't due. Where it isn't due? When you watched my father die and did nothing? It's been two years ago, Olga. Let it go. I read the case file for Shadow Moses, by the way. Olga, you all killed her, how could you suspect me? I know that the ninja is not one of my men. How meaningful you make that sound. If Sergei were still alive... If the old man were still alive, I wouldn't need to take orders from you. Olga, Sergei was my best friend. It's out. I'll kill you myself. Listen, daughter of Sergei. Don't ever let me see your gun pointed at me again. If you wish, I'll put a bullet in your back instead. Sure. Stop this infighting. I took you both in when no one else would. You think any government would have you as irregulars in this political climate? The worst kind of wet works, maybe. But even that's doubtful. I sure. recommend against switching camps. You've nowhere left to go. All right, guys. Is that really Solid Snake? That's what he claims. He saw Solid I Snake. Snake was dead. No. Solid Snake did die, but he's also here in the shell. Either he survived, or there are two of them. Two of them, and that's impossible. Anyway, what did you manage to catch? So they talked about all that. Ames is gonna run on some crazy amounts of dialogue. What do you think you're doing? I asked him to remove these. I'm ill, you see. I always knew that the DIA turned out second-rate liars. What are you talking about? No need for denials. We know what you are, Colonel Ames. They knew that the President was planning to betray them. So they sent you in to keep tabs on him. Am I right? You oh, shit. Sorry, Colonel. You failed to carry out your duties. You'll never escape the Lali Lule Lo. Is that so? He fucking dies before you, him. You, you trick me. I understand now. Ocelot. You. He understands right when he dies. You, which team are you with? Show me your face. You know who he is. No, he is not this one is of just mine. like fucking the DARPA chief at the beginning. The president Identify Baker. yourself. 
<laughs> we meet at last. The hand it all. Damn. Well, he learned. Hold your fire. We need the hostages alive. That'd be scary. Damn, okay. Okay, this part's a little bit more tricky. Usually on big boss mode, this is where I'd like save it and then reload it and you wouldn't be on caution anymore. We got to do this on full blown caution. All right, M9 is what we need. He'll walk over here. You have to be patient. That's just the thing. Get the weapons ready. You gotta get this up. Even though this is fucking not as good anymore, it's still useful. Beware, do not just run out. There's a shotgun guy, because we're on caution. He should be right here. Yeah, right here, this guy's gonna check on him. There's gonna be a, another guy right here. There usually is another camera right down in the middle. But since we're on hard, there isn't. There's going to be more guards up in this bitch, which I'm kind of nervous about, but...
I don't usually pick that up here, but... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, dude, they didn't even call the alert. That's so great. Fucking run. Run. Can't forget about these boys. Don't really have to mess with them much. See, he would have caught me, but since I'm wearing the armor, he's like, huh? Instead. This sniping section going. Right. Right. Sorry, bro. I already know where they are. This is the most touchy part of it. And I fucking hate it. Sometimes I hate it, sometimes I don't. You never know. Oh my god, did you hit it though? Yeah, I bet. I don't want to run this risk, but you know what? Fuck it. Kasatkas. Is it in good shape? Full tank. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna skip to the fucking cool cutscene. Colonel and them are like, oh, oh man, riding. I hate the Kasatka, man. It's so annoying when you're trying to battle them. It's a random element. He's so Chad. Where do I know him from? So you're the boss around here? No, not just around here. I'm I the boss am to the big boss. boss himself. Damn, son, that's a lot to say. Solid Snake. I did now, Metal Gear Solid One. And... Solid Snake. Oh, hell yeah! Fuck oh, no, it's not. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise, brother. Save it, you brother of mine. Don't say you've forgotten me, Snake. Snake? Right, take cover. Oh. 
He's fucking cool, man. Dr. Octopus Snake. Stop impersonating him. I'm a whole different game from Liquid. Look at his wang. His wang enlarges. <laughs> Yeah, he's such a badass. I mean, he was the president. I like that part for some reason where he hits his back. A couple techniques on this boss battle. Yeah, the music's badass. <coughs> There's a couple techniques on this boss battle that I'm not gonna use. They're like extreme techniques, <coughs> but I'll show you them. <coughs> I may not have to use them. Right. This is the Stinger missile launcher. The Kasaka can't stand up to the Harrier. That's Snake's favorite you weapon. Have to shoot the Harrier. Coming 
Honestly, the bird shit's more threatening to me than the Harrier. The bird shit after this. That's Metal Gear! It's already active! The fucking Harrier didn't stand a chance. Goodbye, Harrier. <laughs> My favorite line right here. They got my damn eye! They got my eye! They got my eye! They got Jesus right here too, the fucking... Yeah, the wet work is more dangerous. <laughs> I got that now. Oh. Okay. So what do you say? We go the risky option? Or the safe option. Risky or safe? Damn. Okay, we'll ball it. I just saw this guy God. running. You all right? Yeah. yeah. How about you guys? Barely managed, but we're all right. The chopper? We need some time for repairs. Oh. The president's all yours. Okay. Can I ask you something? What? Are you the snake? <laughs> they said you were dead. No, not me. There are still too many things I need to do. Snake, you're a legend, and that's why I need to ask you this. Legend? A legend is nothing but fiction. Someone tells it, someone else remembers. Everybody passes it on. Right, and be calling I'm them nonstop after this. I was assigned to this mission, not because I want to. If I could, I'd be out of here in a second. How could you come back to all this? Why keep fighting? There's something my best friend said to me once. What? We're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing I was good at, but at least I always fought for what I believed in. What about yeah. what about the DNA results from that body? Great that folks. was Liquid's body. He and Snake are identical on the genetic level. Liquid? A deception for our own protection. We stole his frozen body from some organization. Damn. Kind of a hassle though. <clears throat> That's all there is to it. Are you two really an NGO? Insofar as we're a non-profit organization of civilians advocating a cause, yes. The cause happens to be the eradication of Metal Gear. We work on our own. But it's a cause worth fighting for. Why would you stick your neck out for something this risky? That's the way I used to look at it, four years ago. I was holed up in the middle of nowhere in Alaska, drinking too much. We mm. have a responsibility to the coming generations, to the world. What responsibility? Okay, we'll continue. Jack. Okay, we don't want to say... Colonel. We cannot leave evidence. No. Okay. This is the safe, that's the risky. Since we risk, we go. Oh! Boom, gone. Didn't work. <laughs> right. Right. Answer me. Right. Dude, some people can make that first try every fucking time. Oh, you have to go so far right here. Oh, I don't even want that shit. Alright. Right here, you want to use these. Well, oh, you just want to run. You just want to run. 
and you want to wear this. <laughs> All right, you see these fools? You got to jump this and wait for them to stop. Well, you're going to start crawling over. But once they stop, you're a good jump up. But you have to wear this uniform, otherwise they'll see you. For this, you gotta. This is where this grenade comes in handy, because you're not supposed to be able to crawl over these panels. I've died here a lot of times too. More than I like to admit. Just because I fucking move the trigger wrong. Move the shit wrong. There you go. Any wrong movement there causes a death. You ever see this guy? My <laughs> god, dude, he's just getting pissed on. I think you have to have this. There you go. The enemy has already entered the. Uh, uh, right, my sympathies. Sneaking missions are called wet words for a reason, after all. Don't worry about it, Jack. It's okay. Oh, that is, as long as you take a shower the second you get back. Do we have a deal? <laughs> That's so fucking nasty. I've died here too. Because I just fucking misjudged that. I don't remember if there's people up here. But I do remember them being fucking ciphers. So... A lot to do while that chafe grenade is still going on <clears throat> running over here and instantly I don't like doing all that shit under pressure so I throw a chafe grenade kill everything and go my father had some unfinished business with him Calm your tits, Olga. Then screw your plan. I've been waiting for this day for two years, and I will send him to the bottom of the ocean, right next to my old man. The launch comes first. Damn it. Where is Ocelot? Not here. I don't trust him. Don't talk that way about one of your own. He's uh. not one of my own. He left my father to die, remember? Olga, we'll talk later. We need to get started on the final checks for the unit. All right. All right, let's get the president. We start living. So the president is a douchebag. We all know this and this. So. <clears throat> He will end the run sometimes. He will get fucking blown up in the weirdest situations. So, we'll try not to kill him.
So if you tap the triangle button while you're swimming, watch. See, this is without top it, tapping the triangle. See the breath? But if you tap the triangle, you can stay in here essentially. You don't have to get back up for air. So we're going to find that got a missile with like infinite fucking O2. Right, it's looking, it should be around here. Be careful for the mines. I always just tap like once or twice to get across. There we go. So I'm going really slowly, no pressure. I'm just tapping triangle, 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 circle, triangle, 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 circle, triangle, 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 circle. Kind of just cruising through. Emma can't do the same shit though, so. Kind of how you figure out a swim around here, you know? <clears throat> oh yeah. It is Vulcan Raven near the Nikita. It definitely is. It's an Easter egg. So we're going to have to shoot this wall with the missile to wake his ass up. That way he's not just standing in front of what you have to shoot. And I get up here. He's going to be around. What are you doing? He'll see the bomb, but he might he might run into it. See? There he is. Makes it so he doesn't. <clears throat> I've killed him so many fucking times. We're nearly through with the game, man. Looks like it might be time for number three. President Johnson. Huh? I'm not as good so at number three. You're finally here. <laughs> You've been expecting me? Number Your three humbles me, that man. skull suit isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you alright, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you... Oh. Hmm. <laughs> You're a man? Hmm. What the fuck? Well, who are you? You can't tell that Fox he's... Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> yes, sexually rest, right? communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. He be diddy damn. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. <laughs> but you're the president. You have power. <laughs> yeah, for Just real, stand up. <laughs> I don't have any control. <sighs> the real power is in the Patriots' hands. This is why I saw it as a better. The truth behind this country. <laughs> I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. You Very don't be doing that shit. Existence, even among those with code word clearance. <laughs> Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They this is funny as hell. Putting it simply, the Patriots... <laughs> yeah, what was the point? I didn't even see that now, comment you put either. What was the point of you? <laughs> <to believe in, laughs> if he was a woman. <laughs> the space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to... <laughs> Even if he was a weapon, he's like, Space grabs the cooch right the there. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. 
democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you <sighs> actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. Just listening this to this dude's funny afterwards, it's like no reason, fit. dude. I never the thought of it that way. What they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged <laughs> production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. <laughs> by pledging yeah. my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. <laughs> of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Oh, Even man. if a pawn becomes a queen, it is That's still fucking a wild, the comment. Oh, man. I wanted to leave my own mark in history. Fucking President Johnson. But my ambitions were... <laughs> You'll understand someday. Yeah, you'll understand someday. I wish to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. Grabbing people? I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated some hey, of this. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots. Even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you Get believe real. it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Picture a massive political vacuum. A space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking yeah. about an unregulated power struggle. Panic. Civil war. Chaos. <laughs> for real. Like it Solid as was a goaded president. Continue to exist. <laughs> so you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid... Nah, President chaos. Johnson is the, exactly. is the one, man. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And Dude, he's so badass when Solidus. you fight Solidus at the end. My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. Oh, he ate him. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece. The Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Yeah, years for ago, reals. Shadow Moses. The goat. That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development <laughs> of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' James plans. Johnson didn't really What's do anything. More, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocelot, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But Damn. in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter... Solidus was removed from the presidential office. <laughs> I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... <laughs> that was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by He's the just Patriots a dumbass. for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus Health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his... Scheduled to death. fail him. Capped? Correct. 
But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. The cure to Fox avoided Day? pursuit, Solidus gained control of oh. Dead Cell. I definitely got some strats for ammo. Outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon There's arrive. a couple key things to know during that thing. The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to play... Okay. We know, President. He's gonna die in the stock footage and shit. This guy's gonna keep going about a bunch of shit. This is card four. Thanks. Dead. I'm sorry to hear that after he grabbed your crotch. What's your status? Okay, so we're gonna go get. E. I took these photos two years ago. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot With were Emma, there's a couple of enemies that fucking spawn at certain yeah, points when she comes him. through. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dahl. I'll show you the best way to get through that part. It's kind of frustrating, man. It's like one of the save points I that I'd put on a big boss run. Down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were re Forget it. Raiden, are you reading me? 
This is Arakan. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. This place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. -E. Don't worry about her. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. Sorry, my mic was off. <laughs> yeah. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yeah, yes, beat it, man. No. Beat it, we used wrecked. to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that EE e. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived the ordeal? Yeah, but my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore, that she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn, if she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. I suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that. <laughs> All right, this guy's pretty easy. He's all meditating and shit. Still ticking, huh? Unfortunately, have had he had no vaccines. I met this guy's voice actor at Pensacon. Phil Lamar. Done with being there. You knew I was coming. You become a nuisance. I can't let you interfere with Arsenal gear. He's also Samurai Jack. <laughs> the girl is just ahead. She is of no use to us now, but she served as well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. All right, let's go, man. Tag him right here, and then you want to hit these lights because he will pin you down with these lights if you don't hit these fucking lights. It's fucking annoying. Singer the water to run his shit down. He's gonna jump up here. You can tag him. I didn't fucking hit that blade. Look at his dances. This used to piss me off so much as a kid. He would be dancing up there and I'd be so mad. I'm like, bro, I can't handle this guy. Hold up, I gotta sit up. Relaxing too hard on my chair. There we go. 
I'm relaxing too hard on him. Now he's gonna pop up. Now this, you have to walk off. Boom. He's gonna walk all fancy towards you. Look at that shit, it's so menacing. Right as soon as he swipes, you have to get up. And stay right there. Oh, fuck. I'm in a weird corner. If that happens, just re repeat. It might take longer than your grip strength. Let's go right here. That's better. You always want to be inside of him every time he's about to do that. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <clears throat> I unlocked him out of the fucking combo. Right, what's wrong? <laughs> You're supposed to keep right. him in that combo. Right. I dropped him out by accident. I don't usually explain what I'm doing, so. Dude, I hit him in the nuts. Hitting him in the nuts hits him much worse, dude. Somehow I got some kind of critical on I've never seen that. Focus, 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 right when he touches base. Bam! That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, I normally get crits that way, but freaking hitting him in the damn... I've never hit him in the stomach. Boy. It looked like he was touching his stomach, but it took a chunk out of his life. Colonel, they've apparently completed the final check procedure for Arsenal gear. Find Emma on the double. You've got to get her to install the... All right. Snake. We will get Emma. This part is a little bit more risky. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. So I think it's all the way over here. There might be a bomb. I know there's bulletproof stuff. Body armor. I'm gonna grab that. And I think Emma is located over here. I'm gonna skip some of the conversations with Emma because there's a lot of stuff. Leave me. Leave me, she's all crippled and I... shit. First we'll head to filter chamber two, then we'll take a break. And all I have to do is hold my breath. That's right. 
How long? Just a little while. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's how I got here. I, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Look, Emma, I have an idea. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about it's anything else. It's just the price of playing this game and being able to beat these sections so fast. It's like, goddamn. Give me a signal if you think you're. You just reach the cutscenes a lot. What do you do then? I'll swim faster. I didn't know that. <clears throat> I did not fucking know that, dude. Emma's fucking tough to goddamn keep not drowning, bro. I always have to resort to fucking goddamn. Oh, oh, oh. I think that's where I. Okay, okay. That's where I need to go. Oh my god, I just left her. Oh, she came anyways. I didn't even did notice good. he has a watch right there. I concentrated on your heartbeat. It reminded me of when I was a kid. I remember my brother giving me a piggyback ride. I was sleeping with my ear against his back. I could hear his heartbeat. Sounds like you were close. We were. Back then, we were stepchildren in our parents' second marriages. Wherever my brother went, I used to tag along. My brother didn't have any close friends, so he used to take care of me. We both wanted to be loved so much. So much that we used to pretend. Pretend? Yeah, we used to play house. My brother was the husband and I was the wife. But... It was always just make-believe. We were only kids. You know what I mean. I never had a family, but I think I know what you mean. Raiden, what's your status? Colonel, I've got Emma Emmerich here. We've managed to avoid drowning. Good job. Get her over to Shell 1 as soon as you can. That's going to be hard with the connecting bridge on the upper level destroyed. Didn't Olga say something about taking the oil fence at the bottom of Strut L? Yeah, I remember that. You should be able to go down by way of Strut L. Try and get over there. What about Emma? She's been injected with something and she can't walk without any help. Take her with you. Free your hands of any equipment and hold down the action button to give her a hand. To release your grip on her, take your finger off the action button. Emma can sit and wait until you help her back up. And be careful. You won't be able to use any weapons while you're leading her. Now head for Strut L. We're on our way. Raiden, we've infiltrated the computer room. What's your situation? Emma's safe. We're heading your way. <sighs> Good job. Shell 1's deserted. Looks like everybody's aboard Arsenal. I had a look at the system, but there's nothing I can do. EE's our only hope. Right. I'll put her on then. Huh? E.E.? E? What? How? I'll use my Kodak as a relay. Uh, <clears throat> Here she is. Uh, how? Uh, E.E.? E? Is that you? How? E.E.? E? Um, why are you involved with Metal Gear? Huh? You knew our family's dark history and still got involved? What's wrong with you? I should have known. Answer me. Why are you repeating the same mistake? I... I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to see you suffer. E.E.? -E? You abandoned me! 
No, that's not what happened. All right, that's enough. <sighs> Who are you? I'm a friend of Otacon's, Emma. Otacon? Enough with the sibling rivalry. That's not what this is. We haven't got time for this. Raiden, get her over here right now. I... I... Gotcha, Snake. I'll head over there with Emma. Most of the enemies aboard Arsenal, but I suggest you be careful. Make sure Emma gets here in one piece. Raiden, take care of my sister. Don't worry. I'll get her there. Give me one second. I have to use the restroom real fast. Gotta take a leak. Alright, I'm back. So, we just cruise with Emma. Stuff gets a little tricky with her, though. Emma, Snake and Hal are waiting for us in Shell One's computer room. I've got this disc that the president gave me. This disc is supposed to contain a virus that can corrupt Arsenal Gear's operating system. We need you to... This is... This is my program. What? Why did the president give it to you? Uh huh? Did something happen to the president? Yeah, he did. Uh, you the actually wrote this virus? It's not really a virus. It's more like a worm cluster. It's actually a delayed effect autonomous program that's designed to invade GW Cerebrum and render its nerve connections useless. You know what GW is? Of course. I created it. Huh? You look surprised. Uh, well... Cat got your tongue? I'm sorry, I... How about the Patriots? Ever heard of them? Yes, but I only know what I've been told. Can you tell me what you know? Um, sure, but it's hard to put into words. Right. I wonder if the Are president's been grabbing up on yes. Emma. Loud and clear. The president said that Arsenal gear was the Patriot's key to supremacy. That's as good a description as any. What exactly is it? It's a massive data processing system capable of controlling information on a global scale. A data processing system? That's right. The system's a social device for maintaining the Patriot's control. You've lost me. Well, in this day and age, information emerges from every direction and is free music to kick in. A variety of information gathered by servers employing the latest in high-speed communication networks and P2P technology is rapidly circulated to individuals. In fact, the speed of this circulation process is accelerating on an almost daily basis. The Patriots seem to be afraid of this development. Apparently, they believe that their role will shift from dominant to dominated. Huh? But let me give you an example. You're aware of Solid Snake's anti-Metal Gear activities, aren't you? Yeah, I know a little about it. Well, that's just a small sample of uncontrolled information. I can guarantee you the Patriots did not want Solid Snake's name publicized. Now, look at it like this. Political scandal, corporate corruption, up until now, the Patriots have managed to keep a lid on these and other self-serving events. But 
with their existing data processing system, they're no longer able to effectively control the flow of information generated at the individual level. With the newly created system, they can fully regulate digital information. High-level information can be categorized in stages, given clearance levels, and deleted as necessary, never to be seen by the public. By deleting such information, the Patriots can shape the course of history as they see fit. Somebody's right. bound to catch on. No, the memory capacity. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> So, if you guys want to know more about the Patriots, it gives you time to look into that. But I'm trying to get to the bottom here. Like I said, I'd be playing... I thought it was just going to be part one. But I'm going to finish this damn game. I didn't realize I'd be able to clear it so fast. Oh god, Emma, no, don't die. Peter. Peter's in there. Oh shit, 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 shit. Who the fuck came in and planted bombs? RGB6. The game gives that to you everywhere if you don't need to pick it up. I never really used it. Oh. I think the fucking area is this way. Oh god. What? Where the fuck is it? <laughs> I always get lost here. I know I didn't go in a way with the bomb like that. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Fuck no. The other way back there. She'll be alright. No, she won't. Fuck. She's dead, dead. <laughs> Where was he, man? E, e, this isn't happening. E, e. <laughs> That's funny, though. Okay, e, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to fail you like that. Let me fail you a different way. really was this fucking way. Jeez. Just one little turn that I didn't see. He was arrived. for this guy to pop up right here. Once he pops up, take him out. When she's gonna come up from one side, yep, right there. Oh. Come on. I keep pressing square because it's like normally how I go. gonna be another guy down the hallway I believe
Now, as you come down here with Emma, another person sh might spawn. He should spawn. Yeah, there you go. On this difficulty, every hard and extreme, he spawns. He's going to walk over here. He might even wake that other guy up. Kind of supposed to move that guy. But honestly, you don't have to worry about him. You can just keep going. What you do have to worry about are these people. Damn, I missed like three of them. I'm just trying to go really fast. <clears throat> They're following quickly behind. And that's pretty much how that goes. As you bring her along, those people spawn. Now right here, I think the silent SOCOM would be perfect. So you can just silently... Or just not. There we go. Oh shit. Don't want to forget about that. Jeez. Get up. <clears throat> Bring this guy up over here. Oh shit, I'm missing the fuck out of him. Alright. Minus Emma drowning. Everything went pretty good. Right. I spray this for kind of a good while. Just so it clears out. Sometimes it doesn't clear out that fast. Yeah. I knew that you. I did the second thing's really simple. I'm gonna kill myself. Come on, come on. What the hell? I thought they were throwing grenades. <clears throat> this is a perfect example of not killing no. things in the right Raiden. order. Best way to do this room. Go over here, and you're supposed to put this guy out. There's somebody there. But you're supposed to do it faster than that, or like not as close. Come on. No, bro, this is horrible. I grabbed the wrong. They're gonna come through. Come on, come on, eat. No. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Jeez. But you can see how how easy you can get messed up. This is... I walked just a little bit too far. Can right here. 
Oh my god, no. Dude, I keep messing this one up. I don't even... I can't kill myself over here. His hands. On Big Boss, this would have been like Jack! two hours worse of fucking shit done. Two hours. I think I'm going too fast. There you go. Yeah, I'm going way too fast. Psh. Patience. Fucking patience, dude. Wow. I was trying to go too fast. I forgot that the guy walks forward. Oh, man. That'd be scary as hell. I... Alright, she's scared of heights and shit. We're gonna take care of business. Okay, so what I like to do is go right here, and I will use the PSG-1 to take, to take out the fucking Claymores. Where is she? And I like to use the thermal. And I don't really need the, the drugs just yet. And now I do. There will be people here, but you have enough time to take out shit like that. You don't even have to fucking tag them in the head or anything. But what we do have to do, come back here. There's just going to be people that pop up. Take another one of those. Just, just to be safe. Head. Oh my god. It's fucking rough. That already counts as an alert, too, by the way. If you're trying to not... Be caught. She's all jacked up. Gotta grab this ammo. And I have to take this shit. Because my shots aren't going.
Yeah, fucking I know that one, but I fucking goddamn... I don't know if I'm accurate enough for that. I'm gonna try, though. They shouldn't be hard to hit. I've always just gone with the triple tap. Oh shit, there's mines over there that I have to get it down at some point. This part's the hardest part. It's just that spot, right? Hey, 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 not bad. Thanks, bro. I almost had the plot spot, but I need to take one of these. But honestly, I'm caught in between having to go all the way back and deal with um, the people that are about to pop up. It's this guy that's going to be blowing the whole thing. God damn it, how am I missing so much? Jesus. Oh, that guy. Bro, I'm just not good at this part, really. I'm really ass at this fucking ammo one. I remember I had to restart it so many times. Like, this one, this right here, rough. Of course. Because I wasn't fucking looking. I had to get this. And I still have these to take care of. Did she disappear yet? Oh, no, 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 no. I have to get this trophy too, man. Too shaky. What if I fall? What am I doing here? Holy shit, there's a guy up there too. good-looking women when you're fighting otherwise you'll get hit with diarrhea that fucking century is coming up things I learned from shadow Moses what are you talking about ancient history don't worry about it uh, I have no idea what you're talking about but does this mean you're letting me go dude the fucking cypher is gonna fuck everything up oh there's my trophy I needed that I needed to hear that second Johnny tro fucking thing <laughs> Fucking Johnny. This is Snake. Can you hear me? Yeah, nice and clear. I've reached my sniping position on Strut E. I'll provide support fire from here. Right. Do me a favor and take out whatever I miss. Just call me when you want me to shoot. There's like no other guards left, there's only ciphers. Get the pentas the pentasmin.
Emma's almost dead. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a claymore that I miss. God, this looks like it's gonna be bad. Let me see. Get to be patient with this shit. At least I'm being fucking patient with it. I got her. I gotta get more fucking ammo. Oh hell no. That's sad. soon as possible. I'm afraid her time's running out. I'll be there. This part's cool. Where he's running. Here's a PSU one. <clears throat> I think this part, if you wear the uniform, you can just run by. What's your situation over there? Emma seems to be, uh, doing something to GW's defensive capabilities. All we need now is your disc. You better hurry. I don't think she's gonna make it. How's the bleeding? She's... Just get over here. You'll find the coast is clear with everybody aboard Arsenal right now. Understood. Uh, he says the damn coast is clear. There's another guy still listening to music over here. Damn. I've been blowing alerts left and fucking right. <clears throat> blowing alerts. I completely forgot no. about that. No. That's not a jumpable Jeff, one. Please answer me. Oh Jeff. man. 
It's one of those trick ones. I fell for that one. That's funny. All right. Last time I was too slow. If you run as fast as you can instead of waiting, you'll sneak. One second makes a difference. That one got me too. No. Oh, wow. Jack. 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 You know what? It's really good to learn this before I actually commit to this. I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> oh man. It wouldn't be fun if I had to take it so fucking serious. That shit's funny. Double kill. Get double killed by the damn panels. It's because I'm usually so rushy and now I'm not. And then sometimes I get punished for being so rushy, but it's a gift sometimes. It's the shit that keeps you alive. But meaning rushy is I'd be running really fast and I'd go pow as soon as I can. So I never realized that even those two are panels that are fall out. That shit is too funny. Oh man, spots that I never die at, I'm dying. That shit had me rolling, man. That shit's so... Double kill. <laughs> insert the virus into the AI. Is it working? Just leave it to Emma. What the? An antibody agent? Damn! The connection's been cut. Is the virus upload complete? I don't think so. The count stopped at 90%. Damn. Autocon. I don't think Emma's made any mistakes. But a portion of the worm cluster might have been altered after the disc left Emma's hands. By the Patriots? Will the virus still work? I have no idea. Hal is... Is everything all right? Uh, it's all right. Damn, Everything's all right. He's like wrecked. At least I, 
I won't be adding another page to our family's dark history. That's sad. Yeah, that's right. What if the virus doesn't work? Either destroy that thing, or take out Solidus and his men. How do we get on board? I don't think we can. Unless somebody inside gives us a hand. How? I... That's um, no. What is it? You don't hate me? Never. I never wanted to get in your way. I never Damn. wanted to hurt you. I thought that with Arsenal, if I followed in your footsteps, I could be closer. I just wanted you to look at me. Look at me as... as a woman. <laughs> I could never do that. Don't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, for real. Sorry. It did. Can I... Can I ask you one last favor? God. Call me... Call me... Emma. What? Please call me Emma. Escort her all the way up there. She is killed. What's wrong with EE? E? What's wrong with EE? E? Do she bled to death? Emma? <laughs> Emma? Emma? Answer me! At least he's got pictures of the commandant. Uh -huh. Pretty much. She seduced me. His whole family's all tied in with every freaking weapon project that there was. My father's death was no accident. He took his own life. It was my fault. All my fault. Forgive me, Emma. Oh man, no. <laughs> the only one he's not really suffering that much in is Metal Gear Solid 4. We're gonna sink. We have to get the hostages out. What about the camera repairs? Done. We won't be able to get everybody aboard. We'll just have to take as many as we can. My sister... 
won't be able to come with us. We will be commencing the countdown shortly. Personnel in the upper levels, head for the evacuation area immediately. They had a wolf howling. I never noticed I'm that. I'm always the survivor. Oh, well. Fucking this whole cutscene I completely forgot about. <laughs> They just mention it really fast. Otacon, take care of the hostages. What about you guys? We got other arrangements. Huh? There's our ride out of here. Anyway, we're gonna have to sink that thing if the virus doesn't work. I should be going with you. You've got your job. We've got ours. You mean I'd only get in your way? Wrong. Only you can save those hostages. Got it? Right. Listen, the two of you won't be able to destroy that thing. Eliminate the enemy. That's your only option. Yeah, they have a cool ass handshake right here. Help. E -E? Oh my god. Damn! Otacon, try to get as many hostages out as you can. It's a short flight to the shore, so don't worry about overloading the cam off. to me. I thought he threw the parrot. No. <laughs> it's so horrible, bro. You and me. <laughs> the emoji. Both you and I. We were always alone. Always. We only wanted to be loved. We were always waiting. Waiting for somebody. Somebody who would love us. But we were wrong. You can't wait to be loved. You have to go out and find it. Four years ago, I realized that you can't just wish for a happy family. You have to make it happen. Damn. I wish I knew that sooner. I learned that I could love. As you probably did. Emma. You think he's gonna be okay? He's tougher than he looks. Consider it done. <laughs> now, how do we open this thing? You can come out now. A ninja? What the? Arsenal's going to take off. We still need you to take care of a few things. This time, you won't fail us. Snake, what's this all about? Bedtime, do not right? die 27 times. <laughs> Sides now? Change sides? I don't recall saying I was on yours. 
down. Damn it. You ready for some shut eye? <laughs> Couldn't they just tell him to just like... They couldn't just talk him into helping that? Jack, are you reading me? Do you want to save your mission data up to this point? What the hell, no. <laughs> Is he still yeah. alive? He was when Olga brought him in. I've checked everything, including the genome data, but there's nothing on this. For style, yeah, for style points NSA, matter, bro. CIA, FBI. He doesn't exist in any database. All right, we have to watch Jack. He's a non-existent operative we from have a non-existent organization. I suspected as much. However, I know this man. Hmm? Wake him up. <laughs> Is he going to choke me out? It's been a while, hasn't it? Jack the Ripper. You know this fellow? The dizziness fucking throws me, me off. You? That effect. <laughs> High concentration of cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory too? Yeah, those are badass. Like, those weren't too much to the character was, like, cybernetic and shit. Like, those tentacles are cool. This is my son. I taught him everything. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. You All those barcodes you got. Me? You don't remember. Your name, your skills, everything you know, you learn from me. The 80s. The, the Civil 80s. War. <laughs> you were one of the best among the child soldiers that fought in that conflict. When you were barely 10 years old, you <laughs> became the platoon leader of the small boy unit. The president the loved time, the small boy unit. President James Trump. earned you several nicknames. Including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. Jack, I was your godfather. I named you. When the war ended, you disappeared from the relief center. I wondered what happened to you. I should have known they would recruit you. I wondered what happened to the best of the best. It's an interesting coincidence. If he's a lackey for the Patriots, I doubt he knows anything of interest. What should we do with him? We'll use him like you suggested. What about Dead Cell? Ignore them. <laughs> Look it on. again? Could it be that he's here too? They always have a torture room like this. In another hour, we demonstrate the power of Arsenal gear. Attack with standard weapons, of course. Yes, proceed as planned. At last report, all is well with GW. Hmm. How about the troops? 
The men are being refitted with arsenal gear equipment as ordered. You're the spitting image of Big Boss. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? Perhaps I should be grateful to this kid for that. This situation, I find it very nostalgic. Yeah, for reals. Where? <laughs> Why inside <laughs> us? Role playing as a son, literally. Actually, <laughs> we're also inside the memory of Shadow Moses. I'll take this back. You don't need this anymore, dude. He talks so much shit. Shall the chest. A foul wind is blowing. We shall speak again. All right, bro. Don't move. Stay as you are. We're being monitored by a camera. What are you up to? I'm switching over to nano communication. Nano machine, son. Mr. X, Ninja. Correct. It's me. Deep throat was I too you much. Were the leader of the <laughs> Russian troops. No, that was just a smoke screen. A smoke screen? I was sent to provide you support. Support? Who sent you? The Colonel? The Colonel. No, <laughs> the Patriots. What? I, I deceived my troops, betrayed them. But why? My child is being held hostage by the Patriots. It all started two years ago when I lost my father during the tanker incident. My men and I had nowhere to go. So we joined forces with an illegal Russian organization. The Russian Mafia? I need Something to let these like cutscenes play Actually, out, brother, because this is part of it. I skipped a lot a of them. Shit. Of the They'll talk forever. I was expecting at the time. <laughs> When I gave birth to my child, it turned out I was in a hospital run. But I want to get Patriots. some of the story in drums the morning, in. The juicy my child is. was gone. My baby is being kept somewhere in this country. Have you ever met your child? No. Once a month, they send me a photo of my child via network. I've never even held the child in my own arms. I see. Given your situation, nobody can blame you for what you did. That's your opinion. What about Snake? I thought you were enemies. He wasn't responsible for my father's death. Actually, we owe him our lives. Two years ago, they were responsible for getting us out of the sinking tanker alive. Damn. So you were partners since the incident? No, I only found out the truth shortly before this. Huh? When I confronted him here. You fought with Snake? When? Well, it was around the time you were holding hands with that girl. Nah. Snake. That's cool. Maybe if you use a directional so you mic, you might be able to hear that. To pay no. Back a debt. no, mutual gain. Mutual that gain. far away. My job was to assist you. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, your mission is a failure. The Patriots would judge that as failure on my part and terminate my child. Putting it simply. My child's life depends on your success. So you did it all for your child. But why would the Patriots want to help me? Are they hoping I'll take Solidus out? No, you're just like me. We're just pawns. Pawns for what purpose? The S3 plan. Huh? You'll figure it out sooner or later. But I wonder if you'll handle the truth. What do you mean? Listen, we haven't got time for this. Solidus will commence his attack any minute. He's got to be stopped. What about the virus? No results so far. I think the Patriots have tampered with the program. Will it work? I don't know. Get me out of this thing. Not yet. I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. Where's my gear? You need other Snake's people to grab there. your crotch before bring it here. that happens. Then where do I find Snake? The passageway ahead leads to a hangar. He'll be waiting there. I gave him a card key for the hangar. Does Snake plan to destroy Arsenal gear? No. Even for Snake, it's impossible to completely destroy this thing. The only option is to stop Solidus and his men. What are you going to do? Damn, that thing's impenetrable. That's my role. 
indestructible. Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find you. Listen, I'll free you in a little while. Brace yourself. <clears throat> Youch. Youch, youch, youch. Why? Oh. She hits you right in the nuts so you can't fucking figure it out after that. Jack, are you all right? Oh yeah, the phone uh, call with Rose. Yeah. Jack, is it true? What Solidus said? <laughs> yes. It's unbelievable. Drafting small children, sending them to war? It's not allowed under international conventions. ICC rules don't mean a lot in war. <laughs> Someone told me that there are over 300,000 children in combat right now. I was Jeez. just one of them. That's what so the Metal Gear Solid Revengeance game your memory had takes been place with. Manipulated by them. It was. This is my favorite Godek call. Every day. My Pieces favorite boat. I can't put together. Why didn't you tell me? You couldn't begin to understand. You wouldn't know that until you try me. I didn't want you to get hurt. I wouldn't begin to understand how my head there fit survived this. There was no reason for me to fight, <laughs> except that someone put a gun in my hand, and that someone was him. It wasn't your fault. Mm -hmm. If I survived the day's fight, I was praised, fed, and had a bed to sleep in. I think I was only six when I held my first AK. See, Ryan's hard as fuck. Sure that. He's hard. <laughs> I'm not like Snake. I never questioned why we fought. He never, he's a there killer. There's no purpose, no <laughs> way out. They give you a gun, you ask how many to kill. Snake didn't really didn't, like killing. You the one they shot instead. It's okay. No one is blaming you. We were shown Hollywood action films every day. But he actually the kind enjoys with macho it. guys and big guns. They call it image training. Ugh. He had old school they, VR. <laughs> they built us from the ground up into killing machines. <laughs> yeah. We so were fed once a day. I can still taste the gunpowder they mixed into the food. Oh. Gunpowder? In the food? The gunpowder had toluene in it, giving it hallucinogenic properties. It kept us drugged, controllable. Oh my god! <sighs> He's really like a monster. <laughs> when the Civil War ended, those of us who survived were taken in by NGOs. They gave me a new life in the States. I can't complain. I can't complain. But nothing's changed. The only people who have no problem with whole missions like resurface and everything of their own. Terrible nightmares every night. I can never forget. Jack. I'm afraid of the night. That's why I don't sleep next to you. You should have told me. Told you what? That I'm a killer and always have been? No. No. Whatever. What I hate more than anything else in the world is my own past. I didn't want you or anyone to know about it. <laughs> now I know why I was chosen for this mission. No one can take him on. Take him down. That's crazy. Except me. Father and son shit, wow. This long for this. I knew as soon as I saw but Raiden te technically Jack, takes down one of the you snakes, the you, you know? Now. You have to believe me. And he's a natural. I didn't know anything about you. He's I not a clone. Where you were born, how you grew up. But I know that now. And I know that what I feel for you... But he might have nano machines. He's not cyborg yet, though. i your past if that's the price. It doesn't work that way. No one can share the burden of what I've done. It's not one of those warm and fuzzy things couples share. <laughs> I accept the good and the bad, Jack. That's what you do for someone you love. Do you want to save? I don't want to no. share my past with anyone. I just want to forget about it. Jack, I haven't told you, you know, about what I've done. <sighs> the last two years with you, it's been more than I've ever hoped for. She's been smashing the colonel. But I can't go any farther. Yeah. I know you want to get. But paid. the only difference, Metal Gear Solid I, One, Snake, Snake I is can't. a clone. 
I can't risk He's got starting a family. Superior genes has There's to no be a warrior, but child There's no, I don't know who fucking Ryan's actual genetic parents it's are. It's all right, Jack. Please. Don't say any more. Some randoms. He's not a clone. Alright. This section can be tricky. I might fail. But I'm gonna try not to fail. So pretty much I'm gonna go free flow sneaking. Right. Do you copy? You must continue your m mission. M m mission. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. That's true. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Right. Take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? No. Your role... That is, mission is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point oh. is that you play out your part, and I expect you to Don't turn in a perfect me. performance. Colonel, I just remembered something. I've never what? seen you in person. You in That's person. creepy as no, hell. Once. Complete your mission according to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? <laughs> no more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you oh. mean by that? Over and out. Jeez. So pretty much run behind him. See where his direction is looking. That's what I mean by free flow. Just go where they're fucking looking. Or opposite to you. But don't stop running. You're not fucking stop running. You gotta beat them. Right up here. God damn it, Colonel. Right. Why do you gotta call me? Off right now. What did okay. you say? The mission is a failure. Oh Cut my the god. Power right now. What's wrong with you? Uh, great to end the stream right now, it's just turn game. it off. It's a game just like usual. You'll ruin your eyes playing so close to the TV. What are you talking about? Right. Something happened to me last Thursday when I was driving home. I love these loaded. Go to go. X. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. Suddenly, there was intense light all around me. You and when I came no to, sense. I was home. What you do you think no happened to me? Sense. Huh? Fine. Forget it. Fine, forget it. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Dude's coming, dude's coming. You come over here. Look at that. There's going to be a spot where you, you can pass by. Right now. And go right here. Dude, that was me. Don't that was fucking me. It fucking scared me, man. It scared me. I'm like running through here. I did not want to answer the codex. So what I remember is this spot was really, really long. And I'm like, why the fuck is it so long? Because you have to answer the codex. That's what ends the sequence. Infiltrate the enemy fortress. Outer heaven. I didn't even know there was old school Metal weapon. Gear games before. So I'm like, what the hell is this? It's because Konami made Silent Hill also, so they get it psychological horror. You should know though. On Saturday morning last week, I saw a guy leaving Rosemary's room. How should I put it? It was like they were intimate. I'm sorry. Sorry to bring this up during the mission, but President Baker should be somewhere to the south of where you blasted President the Baker. Hurry and save him before the terrorists discover his code. I play so much Metal Gear that President Baker is a daily part of my life. Like, in one way, shape, or form or another, I hear him mentioned. Dude, me too. I'm a stream Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, bro. You should check it out. We should run that one together, man. That would be a long ass game. 
I don't know about one setting though. I, I can't enjoy snake eater in one go. Maybe running the big boss though. Mattis plants juice can cause a rash. When pruning them, it's a good idea to wear gloves. Oh my god. Jack, it's me. I owe you an apology. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. No, it's something else. What is it? That day at Federal Hall two years ago, it wasn't a coincidence. It's so creepy, but if you have headphones, like, you. you can hear the synth voice. Yes, Her voice is mixed. It sounds like a demon, dude. You're a spy? I suppose. Yes. It's an ugly word. Watch your eyes. Watch your eyes really there? closely. Was sleeping with me a part of the job? I fell in love with you. Oh my god, this anyone? part is so wretched. I can't excuse what I did. I reported every detail of your personal life to them these two years. What you did, said, everything. Must have been fun. But some things I didn't tell anyone. <sighs> like what I felt for you. So that's why you were involved in this mission. I should have known. Why else would they toss an analyst into the mix at the last minute? His handler. I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. No matter where I Welcome go, to the stream, I get by the way, dropped in. I reinvented myself to suit your tastes. Hairstyle. No, I haven't seen any I of that. Moved, things I talked about. I haven't played Minecraft in a while. The color of my hair, my eyes. They're not even real. You must have gone over my psych profile with a fine tooth comb. It was oh. my job. Great performance. Had me completely fooled. Raiden's what just really totally dumb when it comes to everything to like that. The real me. It hurt to play out this this artificial romance. It was worse to lie to myself than to you. The more love you gave me, the more it hurt. Aww. Because I knew the person you loved was just a character. So it was artificial on my end too. It was just a game, not the real thing. Oh, Ryan's gonna go psycho now on fucking solid as his ass. I was in love, or thought I was, with someone who didn't exist. I was trying to be someone I wasn't by loving what wasn't real. I don't know who you really are. The person I knew isn't real. She's not the woman I'm talking to right now. In a sense, the deception was my own, not theirs. Jack, I thought I was acting because that was my job. But I did fall in love with you. That wasn't an Dude, that's so you cool. You need to believe that? <sighs> it's okay. That sounds badass. Reasons, right? Might be a reason to pull up some Minecraft. But I have nothing left to... Jack! What? I'm... I'm carrying... See her voice? Pregnant. Look at her eyes, dude. Rose! What's going on? It's creepy. Give me my shit back. <laughs> Amazing how you walk around like that. Snake! Been waiting long. This is the Fortnite right here, bro. Fortnite skin. <laughs> the people for Where's Fortnite. my gear? Right over there. That's more like it. Everything you had when you were captured is still there. Nano machine, son. Sorry about earlier. I had to use you as bait to gain access to Arsenal. It worked. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? You never asked. <sighs> Not happy about that? Get over it. Any effects of the virus yet? Still waiting on For that. For sure, bro. So, it was rigged by the Patriots? Looks like it. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we'll have to deal with it one way or another. There's also a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? 25, according to Olga. 25? Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before, but I think we can deal. No way we can. We no can, way we because we have no other choice. How? I've stocked up on Stinger missiles. Oh yeah, Olga left this for you. What is it, Olga?
Why? Olga asked me to give it to you. Besides, I'm not a big fan of blades. Move the right stick up and down to make a vertical slice, and left and right to slice parallel to the ground. Move the stick in a circle to do a rotating cut. Push it forward to lunge and strike. You can guard with your blade if you have the L1 button pressed down. You should be able to deflect a bullet or two. <laughs> All right, so first things first. I think we have to. Holy shit, bro, I was just walking. I was just fucking walking, you mother. Kid. No, you, you're damn good, dude. Gotta get that tag, you know? Liquid Snape. Alright, I was just practicing. <laughs> you can just beat the snake while right there. Moron. Oh, you try to get me. Come on, time to go. If you run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Bro, ammo. I love Snake, but he gets really jacked up. Wait up, Snake! By these people. What? Snake, have you ever enjoyed killing someone? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between reality and a game. Diminished sense of reality, huh? VR training will do that. No, it was field training when I was a kid. I lied, Snake. I have more field experience than I can remember. It's not VR that's doing this to me. Raiden, we don't carry guns to take people down. We're not here to help some politician either. You can say that because you're a legend, a hero. I'm Jack the Ripper, a dirty reminder of a terrible mistake. He's ready to Legends go on this. Old spot. I was just a name to exploit. Just like you. People will remember only the good part. The right part of what you did. There's no right part in murder. Not Kay. ever. And we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. Then what are you and Otacon fighting for? A future. You can stop being part of a mistake. Starting now. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Alright. You're supposed to kill, bro. No. Find something to believe in and find it All for right. yourself. I it should have enough stun units for this section. This section is kind of tricky. What? That's your problem. Not mine. Come on. Go fuck yourself. Snake, riding. Otacon, you all right? Yeah. So are all the hostages. That's good news. How's everything on your end? All right for now. But there is something. What? The Colonel's last transmission was strange. Strange? How? Just strange. No idea. Interference? I don't know. Where is this Colonel? I don't know. I've never <laughs> met the man, actually. I've never I'll met the around. Colonel. Thanks. I owe you one. If there's anything else, call me on the codec. I might be able to help. The frequency is 141.12. Oh, snap. That's how fast. See, I don't make that many mistakes. That shit just happens. Body armor. Uh. I have to practice this shit anyways. 
Bro. These guys usually get stunned, but they're... Damn. Wow, that sucks. None of those sun grenades work on him. Oh. Right, respond. Right, right in. Alert number twelve. That's us. Dude, it's still up. Maybe they updated the game. They used to go down from that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to fight them off. These sun grenades don't do jack. Right, come in. Right, right. My other strategy used to be toss them and go. I'm gonna try once more on that. Oh no, it's best that Snake is stunned anyways, because fucking, he gets... I fucking did stun snake. Dude, he was supposed to cartwheel. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're still all fucking away. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, I need to regen. I already wasted way too much life. Alright, I'm gonna run for it. I'm gonna run for it. Oh, I don't even have the, anything that I need. Dude, no. Okay, I have to get all the way up to that point and then. Mm. Raiden, are you all right? Raiden? Raiden! I don't think you have to wait for them to be knocked out. Though. Hold up. There's a special strat. I've done it, it's just fucking not working on this. I'm trying to learn. There we go. supposed to be able to clip through there it's really fucking hard I almost want to eat a ration but I can't damn it's so hard to get done right, it's on? such a hard one but right. 
Uh, alert 15, man. Dead 15. I'm already almost fucking dead. It's not gonna work. Raiden, what's wrong? Raiden! Raiden! You're supposed to, like, go... Uh... Go up on the wall. Punch it. Go in first-person mode. Release, and you'll skip all of them. But it doesn't work very well. I can't get it very well. I need to have that body armor too. Oh, yeah. That's probably why. We're going in. I don't get to do this part very often. Oh my god, dude. They just fucking dropped right there. I'm dead. Come on, bro. Right. Is Ooh. something wrong? Right. That one sucks. Right. I might as well just whoop their asses at this point. But on big boss mode, I save right here. And try that. Damn, I missed him like six times. Fucking snakes done too. Snake's gonna fucking die because he was stunned so much. I really hope I get this one. Oh, 
God damn. I wonder if they patched it. I'm just not doing it right. I'm gonna kill him. Fuck it. Snake, are you okay? Snake! I've only done Snake. it like two or three times. Alright, time to die, guys. No more stun grenades. God damn, they fucking shot me every time I try to throw one. Does not get unconscious. Just trying to crouch. Yeah, get him, snake. Get him, snake. I'm not even wearing the body armor. Nope, it's not gonna work. Oh my god, thankfully. Snake's gonna die though. This is the part that I struggle with the very Ryden. most. Ryden. I don't know why, it just it just tears me up. doesn't do anything. Just knocks them down temporarily. And then they come out with a fury of uh, a fuckload of them. It still didn't even do anything. All it does is kill me. I don't know why. I'm just not using them right, I guess. <laughs> the sword does help. Come 
on, bro. Get it. Just won't. You just won't. There we go. There we go. That one thing. That fucking one thing. So many right. fucking tries. So many rules. fucking tries. What? Like, I would not invest Rose time in killing any of them the if I could just get it's that down. Help. Rose! Right. Get a grip. But Snake, it's a trap. Since it's so fucking annoying how tedious no it is to get it. Rose but... hostage. Yeah, you're right. I am right. Okay. Uh, That's usually where I make a save on a big weird. boss, so I can just reload Jeez. it over and over what again, but it's so really tedious. What? If the Colonel is something that I partly dreamt up, then everything I remember about her could be... Don't jump to conclusions. Because on Extreme, the fighting them normally, the Snake dies. Existed. Every right. fucking time, Snake is dies. What Olga was talking about? You could take it so safe, you could use rations, Snake dies. God, I just had to bleed out a little bit. This part's a little different, though. I'm okay with this part. Gotta fucking put Snake out, because Snake will die on his own. Sucks, but... Sorry, bud. I mean... There you go. And make sure Snake stays alive, you know? These guys just need to cool down, man. They're tryhards. It seems so fun and that shit when you can kill people. But <laughs> only using the sword. Blunt edge, you accidentally, like... Oh god, I hope I don't fucking kill Snake. Oh my god. This is a horrible decision. But I hope it works out. Pretty much spraying them off for the summer, like you said. <laughs> Sorry, man, I'm hella focused in. I have like no life for this.
fortune. It's been a long wait, Solid Snake. The root of all my sorrows. What? Two years ago, you killed my father. That was the beginning of hell for us. Everyone I love has been taken from me one by one. Yeah, I was and fucking no bleeding, how hard dude. I, try, I can't follow them. I, that one was the really like. We live for is to see it no vision mailed, bro. I skipped that shit. I just went through and spread them out. Serious about firing the nuke. That's the way you do it on extreme mode because Snake gets killed, bro. He's so vulnerable in that one. Even if you do fight them to the core, he just gets killed so fast. Damn. Looks like I'm today's pick. You go on ahead. The coolant sprays where it's at. No fission mail. On eternal rest. I've got it right here. <laughs> I fission mailed on like some of the do. stupidest Bullets parts of this run. I'll think of something. There's no such thing as a witch. You think you can kill me? I don't know what your group's been through, but let's get one thing clear. I didn't kill your father. Do you think anyone believes your lies? Right, get out of here! There's Rodden's booty. <laughs> oh man. This part is stressful. On extreme, you have to fight 20. I think we only have to fight 10 of them or some shit. Your XP and extreme, you have to fight 25. Jack, I've been watching how you fight. It looks like you've remembered the way you used to kill in the old days. Or is it one of the S3 plan's proud achievements? What are you talking about? Oh. It came as a complete surprise. Dude, look at his life. Discovered the S3 data from GW. <laughs> oh my god. Not a bad idea, though. Using fire to fight fire. Creating the perfect assassin to retire. Solid Snake's brother. I better collect some S3 things. stands for Solid Snake Simulation. It's a development program to artificially reproduce Solid Snake, the perfect warrior. The result is a Foxhound Commando. When Foxhound no longer exists, a simulated Solid Snake shaped by luck, VR man. regimen. Sound like someone you know, Jack? I'm sorry to see you reduced to one of the Patriots' puppets. But I've made use of you, and their plan too. Solid Snake's sudden appearance, your arrival. It was obvious the Patriots were among my ranks. I had to smoke out the agent before the mission entered the final phase. You came in handy, as bait. Jack, those days during the Civil War were as real as they come. Every day was absolute, split between life and death. You ran from it. And now, you've been led back to war by something less than real. No more games, Jack. At least you know. There's no reason to keep you alive now. Alright! Given you a worthy opponent, at least. But now, you should die as the little Jackie boy I once knew. Jackie boy. All right, for this, you gotta get up close and first. I'm trying to remember the order in which you go.
Ooh, get my life back, please. This is what makes riding fucking hard, man. He fucking fights this many of them. With his ninja skills, like I don't think Snake could cartwheel those missiles, man. As easily as Raiden does. I mean, he might do something more Chad. That missile went all the way around the map if you didn't see that. Oh, fuck, man. I was getting them. I was getting them. Oh, I didn't crouch to heal my life on that. You guys are fucking done because I'm warmed up. I'm not even supposed to be this close to them. I ain't got no time for chaff, my friend. You gotta get these boys quick. Otherwise, I'll be dodging way too much. It's the fucking... You gotta time it right before they can do their laser. I'm standing too close to them also. High risk play is what it is. Oh, he's already dead. I have to get them in the pattern or I'm pretty much good. Wow. <laughs> I didn't shoot his leg. Right, respond. Right. Nah, right. this run... This run is it. You can't break the pattern. Get the cartwheel twice, right here. Can't do go too close. Boom. Now this person, it can't shoot me with the machine gun like it was. Eh, I guess it can. I'm too fucking close to them somehow. I'm messing up the pattern every time. They want it, you want them to be doing that. If you get close enough, you never get hit by the laser. I mean, distant, if you get in the right spot. No stingers. Dang. See, like right here. He's gonna shoot his fucking goddamn. Boom.
I had to fight them, bro. There's no recovering my life. I have to get used to it. Dude, I knew that was gonna happen. The moment they jump up, they usually Ryden, do that. You all right? Ryden? Ryden! Imagine fighting 20 of them. Twenty of them? I think I got the... No. He always hits me. He usually doesn't. He's not supposed to be able to do. Do not laser me, motherfucker. I need to heal. Come on, heal, 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 heal. Dude, oh my god. I was standing right there and it's still fucking... I was stuck. Get the life, get the life, get the life, get the life. Ouch. Better not lay me. Don't lay to me, dude. He stops for one second when he fucking cartwheels. That's why. Bring it back, bring it back, right here, bring it back. He has these fucking rockets that are pretty fucked up. Dude, that's way far away he shoots that shit. I'm not used to them being like that. That fucking aggressive.
Jeez. No, you're just supposed to keep them in a huge repetitive pattern, bro. I almost got them at first. Technically, Gray Fox in this shit. So decided to show oh, but don't do this. They'll know. I'll hold them off. Give you time to get away. What about you? <laughs> this is suicide. Your nano machines. They're transmitting your vital signs to the Patriots. If you die, my child dies. Do you understand? The child. I see. So that's why you sold your troops out to me. So many dead, and they all died trusting you! <sighs> Weren't they your comrades? No, not just comrades. Family! Huh? I know I'm going to help, but at least my child... I applaud your attitude. If you have a death wish, I'll be happy to accommodate you. Damn. You're in hell. Enjoy the show, Jack. Let's pick up where we left off. What's going on? What's wrong with it? AI. GW, it's out of control. What? What happened? Maybe some kind of virus. The Patriots? I don't know. Ocelot, what have you been up to? It's too late. Arsenal's system control is going haywire. It's on an emergency ascent course. Stupid machines! For real, really fast. 
<laughs> you still have some use. I've captured Snake. Him yeah, and his dummy thickness got captured. His eyes. Damn. Are you awake yet, Jack? <clears throat> GW, the Arsenal AI is corrupted beyond repair. I admit that I underestimated you. <clears throat> I'll squeeze the answers out of you instead, my son. <clears throat> No, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man, to hear. you know, he doesn't know anything. It's not him I want the answers from. What do you mean? That's not your business. Oh, really? It so happens I have some business of my own to attend to. Planning to hijack Arsenal? You were going to screw me over, weren't you? Who talked? Ocelot? Not exactly. I was the one who used Ocelot to suggest the idea to you in the first place. Damn, what a Chad move. I was planning to give you Arsenal to begin with. Why the uncharacteristic generosity? <laughs> I'm no philanthropist. Arsenal is far from impregnable. It needs other Metal Gears as guards, a huge payload of warheads, and full air, sea, and land support to function efficiently. Against a large attack force without support, Arsenal is nothing more than a gigantic coffin. Seizing Arsenal gear was never the real objective. What was your objective then? To be a better than James Johnson. Of the Patriots! <gasps> They were planning to extend their control to digital information flow with GW and Arsenal. That means the information they want They're to all super out discreet. is contained Scary in looking. GW. Including that list of the highest 12 members of the Patriots Wiseman's Committee. And once you knew who they were, you would cross out their names one by one. While we, with our useless Arsenal, drew their fire. Very good. You were using us all along. Were you any different? But your plans hit a snag with GW destroyed, hasn't it? No, there is another way. Really? But we have our own plans to carry out. We'll take the arsenal since you don't care for it anyway. The purified hydrogen bomb is ready to go. A nuclear strike won't stop them. It will damage their power source. The mindless masses that they control. First things first. Of course. That was what you wanted. I won't stop you. Good luck. Thanks, but I have quite enough of that. <laughs> what exactly do you find so funny? Charades usually are humorous. I wouldn't have minded watching some. Damn, movies, he's about to do the goat stuff right here. Time. What are you talking about? Everything you've done here has been scripted. A little exercise set up by us. Exercise? The S3 plan was conceived as a means to produce soldiers on par with Solid Snake. That's what I told you. But the VR training the boy was put through is not the meat of the project. You think this little terrorist incident is your own doing, Solidus? This is the S3 training, Colonel. 
an orchestrated recreation of Shadow Moses. What? Ames and the President's deaths. The ninja. The computer virus that mimics Fox die. Did you really think they were all a coincidence? Damn, dude, fuck no. Ames own nano machines were used to shut down his pacemaker. I arrange for the appearance of the ninja as well. As for the president, although Johnson realized what was going on, he played out his allotted part. As for the computer virus, it's a digital counterpart of Fox Die. It was also designed to eliminate every scrap of information regarding the Patriots from GW. Your plan was invalidated even before execution, Solidus. Fat Man was a different story. He's one of our own people. A sort of examiner we hired to test the boy's progress before letting him tackle the exercise proper. We had to arrange for Stillman's presence to coax the maniac into agreeing. If the boy had allowed the big shell to be destroyed, this exercise would have ended there. The project has no room for failures. What do you mean? Given the right situation, the right story, anyone can be shaped into snake. Even rookies can fight like men of experience. An instant creation of genius. And this training kernel would provide more than enough data to formulate such a program. You, Dead Cell, Olga, you're all nothing but pawns placed to create the perfect simulation. Solidus, you and the boy were selected because your relationship resembles the one between Snake and big boss. Yeah. It's a twist you, on a twist on a twist. You and the rest of Dead Cell stand in for the Foxhound squad that Snake took on in Shadow Moses. You're the most impressive collection of freaks outside of Foxhound. <laughs> We've gone to a lot of trouble to set you up against the boy. That story about purified hydrogen bombs is just the tip of the iceberg. The project was already underway when I sunk that tanker along with your old man two years ago. Throwing your husband in the brig was a part of it too. You were told that the eradication of Dead Cell six months ago was an act of the Patriots. We provoked and encouraged your hatred. And you opted for vengeance, just as we planned. Damn. Oh, orchestrated? Except for the appearance of the real Solid Snake. He does some savage shit here soon. He jumps after the Metal Gear. All our misfortune was just a part of your project? about to get intense, y'all. Do you know why no bullet could hit you? It wasn't magic or some new age mumbo jumbo. Certainly wasn't your psychic talents. It was all staged by the Patriots. Staged? You were being shielded by the electromagnetic weapons technology that the Patriots developed. Your dead cell comrades loved your father and husband. Shit. We needed a pathetic wretch like you to keep them focused. You've been our puppet all along, just like Olga. No! 
You were hamming it up as the tragic heroine, thanks to the script that the Patriots wrote for you. Pure self-indulgence, absorbed in your own misfortune. You couldn't get enough of the drama. I could have died whenever I wanted to. <laughs> hmm, thought I got her in the heart. <laughs> Damn. It missed. Now I remember. Your heart's on the right. Waste of metal, my dear. But your luck's run out. This is the little gizmo. There's no such thing as miracles or the supernatural. <laughs> Only cutting edge technology. On. Arsenal and clean up the refuse from the exercise. Just try. Damn, that's Chad behavior right there. <laughs> your reward. It's all the payload Ray has. Die. This shit's crazy. Fuck. Everybody down. Sucked into playing this game all day, bro. Try this instead. No! Just step on her, bro.
just step on her. No. Brothers! Liquid! I've been waiting for this! He's got that fat man thing going it on at his forehead. Be. I've been inside this arm all along, waiting for the right time to awaken. You were inside Ocelot? Yes, a sleeper in the arm of a Patriot spy. It was you two years ago? Exactly. I was controlling him. Snake, it was I that leaked information about Arsenal to your partner and got you out here. What? You're the only one that can free me. After all... I'm off to bury the Patriots for good. You know where they are? How? Why do you think I chose Ocelot as my host? But before I go, I have a family matter to settle with both of you. There's room for only one snake and one big boss. Time to say goodbye. Damn. Liquid! Stop this thing! Hey, Snake! You coming? Federal Hall. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Do you know what day it is today? April 30th? That's right. George Washington took office as the first president of the United States of America 200 years ago today. And it happened right here. We were going to declare another independence. The dawn of a new nation, here. The end of the Patriots' secret rule. Liberation of this country. This was where it was supposed to begin. This is where freedom could have been born. All you want is power at any cost. Jack, it's not power I want. 
What I wanted to take back from the Patriots are things like freedom, civil rights, opportunities. The founding principles of this country. Everything that's about to be wiped out by their digital censorship. Jack, listen to me. We're all born with an expiration date. No one lasts forever. Life is nothing but a grace period for turning the best of our genetic material into the next generation. The data of life is transferred from parent to child. That's how it works. But we have no heirs, no legacy. We brothers are called les enfants terribles, cloned from our father with the ability to reproduce conveniently engineered out. What is our legacy if we cannot pass the torch? Proof of our existence, a mark of some sort. When the torch is passed on from parent to child, it extends beyond DNA. Information is imparted as well. All I want is to be remembered by other people, by history. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. I want my memory, my existence to remain. Unlike an intron of history, I will be remembered as an exon. That will be my legacy, my mark in history. But the Patriots would deny us even that. I will triumph over the Patriots and liberate us all. And we will become the Sons of Liberty! Raiden, are you receiving? We're still here. How is that possible? The AI was destroyed. Only GW. Who are you? To begin with, we're not what you'd call human. Over the past 200 years, a kind of consciousness formed layer by not layer in the crucible of the White House. It's not, not unlike chance. the way life started in the oceans four billion years ago. The White That's House exactly was our primordial it. soup, a base of evolution. Not a chance. We are formless. We are the very discipline and morality that Americans invoke so often. How can anyone hope to eliminate us? As long as this nation exists, so will we. Cut the crap! If you're immortal, why would you take away individual freedoms and censor the net? <laughs> Jack, don't be silly. Don't you know that our plans have your interests, not ours, in mind? What? Jack, listen carefully, like a good boy. The mapping of the human genome was completed early this century. As a result, the evolutionary log of the human race lay open to us. We started with genetic engineering. And in the end, we succeeded in digitizing life itself. But there are things not covered by genetic information. What do you mean? Human memories, ideas, culture, history. Genes don't contain any record of human history. Is it something that should not be passed on? Should that information be left at the mercy of nature? We've always kept records of our lives. Through words, pictures, symbols, from tablets to books. But not all the information was inherited by later generations. A small percentage of the whole was selected and processed, then passed on. Not unlike genes, really. That's what history is, Jack. But in the current digitized world, trivial information is accumulating every second, preserved in all its triteness, never fading, always accessible. Rumors about petty issues, misinterpretations, slander. All this junk data, preserved in an unfiltered state, growing at an alarming rate. It will only slow down social progress, reduce the rate of evolution. Right. You seem to think that our plan is one of censorship. Are you telling me it's not? You're being silly. What we propose to do is not to control content, but to create context. Create context? The digital society furthers human flaws and selectively rewards development of convenient half-truths. Just look at the strange juxtapositions of morality around you. 
billions spent on new weapons in order to humanely murder other humans. Rights of criminals are given more respect than the privacy of their victims. Although there are people suffering in poverty, huge donations are made to protect endangered species. Everyone grows up being told the same thing. Be nice to other people. But beat out the competition. You're special. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. But it's obvious from the start that only a few can succeed. You exercise your right to freedom, and this is the result. All rhetoric to avoid conflict and protect each other from hurt. The untested truths spun by different interests continue to churn and accumulate in the sandbox of political correctness and value systems. Everyone withdraws into their own small gated community afraid of a larger forum. They stay inside their little ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing cesspool of society at large. The different cardinal truths neither clash nor mesh. No one is invalidated, but nobody is right. Not even natural selection can take place here. The world is being engulfed in truth. And this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. We're trying to stop that from happening. It's our responsibility as rulers. Just as in genetics, unnecessary information and memory must be filtered out to stimulate the evolution of the species. And you think you're qualified to decide what's necessary and not? Absolutely. Who else could wade through the sea of garbage you people produce, retrieve valuable truths, and even interpret their meaning for later generations? That's what it means to create context. I'll decide for myself what to believe and what to pass on. But is that even your own idea? Or something Snake told you? <sighs> That's the proof of your incompetence right there. You lack the qualifications to exercise free will. That's not true. I have the right. Does something like a self exist inside of you? That which you call self serves as nothing more than a mask to cover your own being. In this era of ready-made truths, self is just something used to preserve those positive emotions that you occasionally feel. Another possibility is that self is a concept you conveniently borrowed under the logic that would endow you with some sense of strength. That's crap! Is it? Would you prefer that someone else tell you? All right, then. Explain it to him. Jack, you're simply the best, and you got there all by yourself. <sighs> oh, what happened? Do you feel lost? Why not try a bit of soul-searching? Don't think you'll find anything, though. Ironic that although self is something that you yourself fashion, every time something goes wrong, you turn around and place the blame on something else. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. In denial, you simply resort to looking for another, more convenient truth in order to make yourself feel better. Leaving behind in an instant the so-called truth you once embraced. Should someone like that be able to decide what is truth? Should someone like you even have the right to decide? You've done nothing but abuse your freedom. You don't deserve to be free. We're not the ones smothering the world. You are. The individual is supposed to be weak, but far from powerless. A single person has the potential to ruin the world. And the age of digitized communication has given even more power to the individual. Too much power for an immature species. Building a legacy involves figuring out what is wanted and what needs to be done for that goal. All this you used to struggle with. Now, we think for you. We are your guardians, after all. You want to control human thought? Human behavior? Of course. Anything can be quantified nowadays. That's what this exercise was designed to prove. You fell in love with me just as you were meant to, after all. Isn't that right, Jack? Ocelot was not told the whole truth, to say the least. We rule an entire nation. Of what interest would a single soldier, no matter how able, be to us? The S3 plan does not stand for solid snake simulation. What it does stand for is selection for societal sanity. The S3 is a system for controlling human will and consciousness. 
S3 is not you, a soldier trained in the image of Solid Snake. It is a method, a protocol that created a circumstance that made you what you are. So you see, we're the S3, not you. What you experienced was the final test of its effectiveness. That's crazy. You heard what President Johnson said. The Arsenal's GW system is the key to their supremacy. The objective of this exercise was to establish such a method. We used Shadow Moses as a paradigm for the exercise. I wonder if you would have preferred a fantasy setting. <laughs> we chose that backdrop because of its extreme circumstances. It was an optimal test for S3's crisis management capacity. If the model could trigger, control, and solve this, it would be ready for any contingency. And now, we have our proof. Raiden, there are also reasons behind your selection. Solidus raised plenty of other child soldiers. Do you know why we chose you over them? Hmm. It was because you were the only one who refused to acknowledge the past. All the others remember what they were and pay for it daily. But you turn your back on everything you don't like. You do whatever you like, see only the things you like, and for yourself alone. Yes, Rose can attest to that. You refused to see me for what I was. To that. I lied to you, but I wanted to be caught. You pretended to be understanding, to be a gentleman. You never made a conscious attempt to reach out to me. The only time you did was when I gave you no choice but to do so. I was just trying not to. What? Trying not to hurt me? Dear, the one you were trying not to hurt was yourself. Avoiding the truth under the guise of kindness is all that you did. It occurred to you to do nothing but look out for yourself. Even if you claim that it was for my sake, that feeling was nowhere to be seen. In the end, everything was for your sake. I was never part of the picture. <laughs> exactly right. So you see, you're a perfect representative of the masses we need to protect. This is why we chose you. You accepted the fiction we've provided obeyed our orders and did everything you were told to. The exercise is a resounding success. Didn't I tell you that GW was still incomplete? But not anymore, thanks to you. Your persona, That's creepy. Triumphs, and voice. are nothing but byproducts. The real objective was ensuring that we could generate and manipulate them. It's taken a lot of time and money, but it was well worth it considering the results. No, but like seriously, Solidus is just standing here. It's time for the final exercise. Right, take Solidus down. <laughs> he was polite Think enough. Again. I'm through doing what I'm told. Oh really? Aren't you forgetting something? If you die, my child dies. The termination of vital signals from your nano machines means the death of Olga's child. Not to mention the death of Rose. She's wired the same way. Rose, does oh. she actually exist? Of course I do, Jack. You have to believe me. Damn! It will be a fight to the death. Solidus at least wants you dead. We will collect the necessary... Oh, he's gonna rip some shit out of his spine. <laughs> then we'll consider the exercise closed. So, Jack the Ripper, will it be Solidus, the Patriot's creation, or you, Solidus's creation? Our beloved monsters, enjoy yourselves. Monsters? Jack, my son. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. And go to Monsters Inc. Monsters University. By the M. way, Jack, I was the one who killed your parents. Oh. Are 
I claimed you for my own and raised you as a soldier in the army of the devil. I am your foster father and your worst enemy. Why? Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me and face your past, Jack, you will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop. Your own double helix. Ouch. It's time we were both free. I like this part. Have at you, Jack. I have other reasons for wanting you dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Inside your inside cerebral cortex. You what? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed. Birds are all right on that. Takes off his octopus lines. Boom! 
This dude. Oh, CQC at the end. I appreciate playing with you guys, man. Probably gonna go mute, let the rest of this play out, and the credits roll, but I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Especially Gandalf, man. You stuck around through the whole stream. Get me going. But enjoy the end of this game. Figure out another game to play, maybe number three next Sunday or sooner, you know? Definitely not six or seven hours, though. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I don't know. Be cool. Peace. Really? No one quite knows who or what they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you are willing to have that decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction, too, come to think of it. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt thought about during this mission is yours, and what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you.
By the way, what is that? Dog tags. Anyone you know? No, never heard the name before. I'll pick my own name, and my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. They taught me some good things, too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word, even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry. I'll find him. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up. We have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriots' identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know. But we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. Yeah. See me for what I am, okay? I know. Do you remember this place? Of course. This is where we first met. I remember now. Hmm? Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. something to pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. The genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture, 
Poetry, compassion, sorrow, joy. We'll tell them everything together. Is that a proposal? This is for your ears. I can't say goodbye 
Life isn't just about passing on your genes. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature and movies, what we've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. The human race will probably come to an end sometime and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Snake, you there? It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriot's list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? 
Well, uh, about a hundred years ago. What the hell?